Hello. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Whew. My name is Vesper Noir. I am the resident scholar of the Adventures Guild Tempest, a member of Hollow Stars English, and your DM for the evening. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for checking us out. I appreciate it. Ah. This has been a long time coming. I'm like a little bit emotional and very, very nervous. My hands are like shaking a little bit, but oh, I'm, I'm really excited. Like I've wanted to do this <laughs> since pre-debut and I get to play D&D with the boys. Like I have a group to play with. It makes me so happy. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. Without further ado, let's go ahead and introduce the players of the game tonight. And the characters that they will be representing, which you can see behind them in these like really cool like uh oh before we start, I want to thank Desmond Des. He did literally all the graphics for this thing. Like <laughs> I didn't do anything. He did everything. Oh, uh, it's no problem. Oh, thank you so much. Des. It looks so good. Like your characters. Yeah, we're, we're all super excited to, looks, to do this. It looks so cool. Ah, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's introduce the players and the characters that they will be playing, and we'll start off with Altair. Altair? Hello, everybody. My name is Regis Altair of Hollow Stars English, leader of the Tempest Guild. And today I'm playing the character Altor. <laughs> Altor. He is a tortle, paladin, folk hero who is neutral good. And my backstory is as follows Altor was born under the bright moonlight on a sandy beach. His life was tough from the start, immediately crawling to hide from the birds and crabs along with his many, 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 many siblings. From a young age, he wandered the world, traveling from village to village and taking odd jobs along the way. One day, while gathering herbs with the local he healer, a giant boar appeared, eyes wild and mad with evil. Altor brought up the courage to stand against it, telling the hero to flee. After a long and arduous battle, he stood atop the boar and felt happiness. Happy that he was helpful to others. Happy that he saved someone. Happy that he was able to show his strength. Ever since then, he's been chasing that happiness, killing monsters and saving the villages he travels to. That's me. Hello. Ooh. That is amazing. Whoa, oh, so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the paladin of the group, the, the tanky boy, right? Oh, yeah, I'm the paladin. Oh, yep. yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, next. That's going to be tough to top, but I think I think if anybody can do it, it'll be Dez. <laughs> Dez? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> next. Are you ready? Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Magni Desmond, <laughs> a.k.a. the great Magni Desmond, alchemist, self-proclaimed of Hollow Stars English. Here to play some DD, and uh, the character that I will be playing, um, that I will be becoming, is um, Kiriobot. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about Kiriobot. Uh, in fact, why don't we just ask Kiriobot? <clears throat> <laughs> you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. My name is Kiriobot. I am a warforged warlock, level two. Warlocks are seekers of the knowledge that lies hidden in the fabric of the multiverse. Through packs made with the mysterious beings of supernatural power, warlocks unlock magical effects, both subtle and spectacular. I, I thirst for power and blood. I do not remember much. How long, how long has Kiryobot been wandering this this world cannot remember but this body long since has the knowledge to upkeep this form past decrepit i search for an answer to extend my life for power and i have found <laughs> karyobot thirst for blood and i've i've found two fools to meet my my goals. <laughs> so freaking cool. Uh, <laughs> the, fucking damn it, man. The re Over. the re flavor on this character is amazing. It's like perfectly in line with the rules of fifth edition D D, but it's like so unique. I'm excited. I'm excited. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and last but not least, Axel. What's up, guys? Oh. Yes, sir. 
it's your favorite dr gladiator uh hitman assassin rogue and dnd player uh, axel series here today featuring as uh catsel uh 13 what's up guys catsel 13 <laughs> why am i catsel 13 what's the 13 eh well it says 12 on the screen <laughs> 12 <laughs> oh <my. laughs> It's 13, okay? Not 12, but 13, okay? 12, by the way. God fucking damn it, dude. Always, shit. Backstory, huh? I'm a bit... I'm a bit secretive about my backstory, so... You guys will find out, probably. Maybe someday, but just not today yet, so... Maybe next time. Maybe next time, yeah. Ah, the mysterious rogue. I like that archetype. It's good. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Would you describe your character as uh, more serious or a little bit more cheeky? Like, what's the uh, what's what's the vibe that you're going for? With oh, character? Castle Thirteen is hella outgoing. You know, he's always got a smile on his face, always okay. happy. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. I like it. I like it. Okay. Every group needs somebody like you. I think. Yes, like, sir. Always yeah. a happy boy. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. All right. I will go ahead and do a quick recap of uh, what happened. <laughs> Before our hero, our heroes found themselves in this little like sandy ravine that you can you see before you, and then we'll jump into it, and then we will open the floor for them to go ahead and uh, play. Like the, the players will play. Okay, so this party of three adventurers took a quest by a local noblewoman who had two children, a son and a daughter, and they became adventurers against her will. Joined a party of four and went exploring in a nearby ruins called the Sunless Citadel. They never returned. That was about a month and a half ago. About five to six weeks ago. She requested a party of hardy adventurers to arrive at, this, at, uh, at Oakhurst, which is this, the town that she, uh, she rules over. Um, they came. They negotiated a handsome reward to, to recover her children alive if possible their bodies if not, and if there was nothing else left of them, just a signet ring that each of them had on their fingers that signified that they were, they were a part of that uh, noble house. In addition to that, because she has dominion over this entire area, they have full salvage rights over whatever they find in the Sunless Citadel. They can keep whatever they want, even if they should fail their quest and not be able to recover any of the children or, or um, like find out what happened to them, they can still take what they find and then leave. Um, and they took the quest, they headed out over to the ravine. The Sunless Citadel is at the bottom of a very, very deep ravine near Oakhurst. They found a rope that was attached to a stone pillar near the ravine, and they descended into the ravine. They landed on a sandy outcrop, a ledge, where they were ambushed by giant rats. <laughs> After a fierce battle, Castle 12? Castle 13? <laughs> It's 13. The, the Catsel that was 12. formerly known as Catsel 12, who is now Catsel 13. Thank you very much. <laughs> Catsel 13. He did level up, so now he's 13. True, 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 true. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Fair. After a fierce battle, our, our, our darling rogue went down. Uh, but Curiobot, the, the kill bot of the century, managed to protect Catsel 13, protect him from taking fatal damage. Uh, dispatched the rats in easy order with, with the help of Altor, and they were able to recover, take a short rest, regain, regain their stamina and their, their health, and now they are ready to continue further down into the ravine to the Sunless Citadel. I absorbed their souls. <laughs> you actually did. I think, I think you have temporary HP right now, right? Like yep. You should still have yes. it. Okay, I think, uh, I think all of our viewers are caught up, and now... The players can play. What do you guys want to do? Hmm. I will not lie. Those three rats almost killed all of us. <laughs> and to I my mean, knowledge, what lies further into this dungeon is much, much worse. Those were some big cat, uh, some big rats. So I'm not surprised. I mean, they literally fucking like killed me. Paxel almost died. Yeah, nearly. If you guys didn't save me, if it weren't for you guys, I would have died there, so... 
Thanks, Big Axel, you know? how much, uh, huh? how much health do you got? Me? I got a 19 health right now. Nin we recovered. Current? Current, current yeah. I'm a current, current. Oh, okay. well, max and current, so... I'm a tanky guy, what you gonna say, you know? Alrighty. We rested by the fireplace. Huh? Well, I think... Our only option is to venture further down. Yeah, we gotta find those kids. Ah, gotta go. that's true. And that's most right. importantly, the loot that lies deep down. Mm, yeah, the treasure, you know. Mm. You're only here for the treasure, aren't you? No, 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 no. <laughs> of course, saving people is, you know, priority, obviously. <laughs> mm. What are you talking oh, about? That's dude? the wrong button. <laughs> CurioBot has noticed a, a ring, a fireplace ring, right? Among the rubble is an old ring of stones that contains the accumulated ash of hundreds of campfires, though no fire has been lit here for a few years, clearly just by observing it. Inside the ash pile are a few rough-hewn spear tips of goblin manufacturer and small animal bones. It's okay, boys. We can become the goblin slayer. It seems yeah. many have passed here before us. Hmm. There's only one way down. Are you guys ready? Well, let's go down then. Boink. 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 I wonder what's over go this down. ledge over here. Go check it out. I don't see anything. It's just pitch black on the other side of the ravine. It just Axel, slowly but surely. What does your cat-like vision show us? Huh. Uh, ah, okay. Here Game Master, go. could I could I have a look at this floor, potentially? Actually, stop uh, right where you were at the ledge, and then go ahead and give okay. me a, a perception check, please. Perception check, okay, yes. sure thing. Uh, perception check. Where do I click again for perception check? Uh, uh on your character on sheet like... on the mm -hmm. left side, near skills. near your stats. Oh, ah, okay, okay. Perception. Perception. Yeah. Gotcha. yeah. Normal roll, right? Yes, normal roll. Yeah. Ah, fourteen. Okay. You peer into the darkness. Uh, I believe you have dark vision. Yes. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> You peer down into the darkness of the ravine, and from it, a fortress emerges from the darkness. A subterranean citadel, though impressive, seems long forgotten, as if the lightness wind lightless windows, cracked crelinations, and leaning towers are any indication. All is quiet, though a cold breeze blows up from below, bringing with it the scent of dust and a faint trace of rot. And one thing that I would like to note is that since you've descended, into the ravine, the temperature has plummeted at least 20 degrees already from up up above, like at that uh, the pillared ravine area. Like, you climb down the rope and it's already 20 degrees colder. Oh, my cold-blooded bones are getting a little chilly. Oh, shit, it's kind of cold down here, man, but... You flesh I... bags, I remain unaffected <laughs> by temperature. Hey! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. hey Think about uh... the others a little bit, won't you? So what do you hey, see? Yo. I see, I see a, a city, like, a town, oh. like, some underground, like, city? What do you, what do you call it, you know? Like... Does it appear occupied? I, I don't know. Probably not from the looks of it, but... Mm. I, I don't know. We gotta keep our wits it's, about us. There's lots of goblins here. Like, goblins? Goblins? Yeah, yeah goblins. There, it might be a goblins, you know, city. Who they Monsters might be residing in it. I, I don't know, man. It looks kind of... Uh, kind of dangerous. I would be on alert. Anyways, Kiribot, we're kind of cold here. Don't you have, like, a flamethrower on your arm or something? <laughs> I do yeah, not think... Alright. I, I urge you to step back very slightly. Uh, okay. Uh, you well... do not wish to be singed by my fiery breath. Okay, shit. Okay, go, go on. All right. I am equipped with many, many accoutrements. <laughs> and allow me to take this moment to describe to you what lies within CurioBot's body. Oh, okay. You want to do like a demonstration, Ooh. but like you're not attacking anything? I think I would allow that. Like, because okay. normally, if you want to cast a spell, it would use your spell slot, which you have a very limited amount of, 
and it would uh, you would definitely need that further on. But I would allow you to like do like a demonstration, and it won't use up any of your. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. In my left hand, arm, it splits down the middle, <gasps> flipping on either side. From the middle of my forearm extends a <gasps> rod, and at the end of the rod, a sphere pops out. And from this spear, spikes on this ball. It is a mace. <gasps> I am equipped with a mace. And at the end of the mace, it spins. <gasps> I have a mace arm. <laughs> on... Hey, Gaxel, I, I don't think this guy's human. Y y you just noticed? <laughs> you guys have been together for a while, right? Uh... <laughs> I don't God. think this guy's human. <laughs> Silence. I'm demonstrating. On my other arm, similarly, splits down the middle, opening, and from it, a slightly larger rod extends tubes attach following down my arm until the to the end and from it i can spout fire stand back as i demonstrate <laughs> fire oh, warm, finally warm. warm but shit let me, let me man, step what? a little closer <sighs> yeah look at that's so be careful that... the flames are on wildly okay, i got a big shield i have and... a fucking dagger dude that's all i have man you got all these like i don't know fire mace like you're like the flames God. the flames they I originate from the patron my otherworldly patron the fiend a spirit of hellfire anyways i'm equipped with one last method of eliminating oh. my foes i would not demonstrate it here lest you be vaporized <laughs> from my chest my chassis it can <laughs> open up and from it what appears to be a railgun of some sort <laughs> what, what my eldritch action? blast <laughs> with the screams of a thousand banshees vaporizing all those who oppose me <laughs> and as noted earlier my foes, who are those who be stricken down by Kiriobot as their souls leave their bodies in an effort to enter the land above. Kiriobot is able to pull their essence and from their souls a shield is, is formed. And it's like red and it takes the form of like their, their like mortal shell and they're like... Aah! Yes, you can hear the faint screams of their soul attempting to escape. But Kiriobot has, has captured their, their essence. A creepy awesome. you all? You're kind of scary, dude, aren't you? I, I always <laughs> knew you were kind of a creepy guy, but... I fiend you kind of creepy. Let us continue. I, I, okay. I mean, a, a, a Kiriobot, you know, like... If you robots take over the world someday, hey, well, I'm just let you know that I, I fucking love robots. So. <laughs> you actually do. <laughs> so you know, I am no robot. I am a Warforged. My bad. I I loved Warforged. Man, they're the sickest people in the world. Yo, not even people, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Like, you get me. You must gather your party before kind. venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Wait. Are what you, lies ahead? Are you ready to venture forth onto the next, the next area? Yeah. Uh, I, I, okay. I think. So. I think we. Kirio bot is ready. Okay. I'm ready. Everybody is ready. We're I'm ready? going to yeah. switch to map number two. Now oh. it's going to be very difficult for you to find your characters. I think you're going to have to go to the very bottom, and the very right. Not the very right, but like, yeah, around that quadrant. Okay. 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 Oh. Oh, I see him. Okay. I see. Do you see your character? Ooh. Is this top down now? Oh no, my screen is full pitch black. Is it? No, no, no. Uh, you gotta scroll, scroll, scroll out. It's at the bottom right. 
bottom right. Scroll out. Hopefully. We will wait for... Ah! Naruto. Katzel? Okay. It's much yeah, darker here than it was up in the ravine. And uh, give okay, me just yeah. a second. <clears throat> the narrow stairs empty into a very small courtyard. Apparently the top of what was once a crenellated battlement. The buried citadel has sunk so far into the earth that the battlement is now level with the surrounding floor. That floor stretches away into the north and the south, composed of a layer of treacherous crumbled masonry, which reaches to an unknown depth. To the west looms the surviving structure of what must be the sunless citadel. A tower stands on the west side of the courtyard. Mm. You are now in the sunless citadel. Act with caution. This must be the sunless citadel. <laughs> What the fuck is the son of the citadel? Why do you know that, Torter? I mean, not Standing. Torter. Ah, Lady, <laughs> Lady, <laughs> Lady Carowin named it the Sunless Citadel. Like that's what they call it. Oh, because okay. the sun never reaches this far down right. into the ravine. Okay, I see. Well, uh, Alter. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll take first, first, first steps. I'll go first. Okay. Ah, yeah. I... Stop right there. Give me a dex uh -huh. dexterity saving throw, please. Uh oh. Fuck! <laughs> Booby normal? traps. Normal. Normal. Four. Normal. Normal. You're good. <laughs> One moment. One moment. Altor, let me do a check before you move first, though. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're. You're. What? What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say to me, huh? You're. To you're slow, man. You're. And what does that mean? You can't dodge these booby traps if they come for you. Oh. I'm a turtle and a proud turtle. Uh, 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 how, no, would I, how would I describe them? Okay, so, um, Altor. Yes. You step onto that part of the battlement, and um, it crosswise, it's a rectangular thing, right? And then cross mm -hmm. between the two squares, it pivots like on a yeah, it's pivoting on like a fault, like an axis, and then it drops you down, and you can't tell how far how far down you go. Give me, oh, you already you already failed the dexterity saving throw. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh shit. So it's yeah, like a trap door that I just fell down. It's a trap door that spins on that like middle. It's there's like a rod mm. in between that floor, and then it spins as soon as you put your your weight onto okay. it, and then you drop down. Okay. Uh oh. Guys, I think this is the Sunless Citadel. I can't hear you from down there. Ooh. Um, you pay you basically take them like almost like the minimum amount of damage that you possibly can. You drop ten <sighs> feet down into the pit. Um how did you take so little damage? Like do you do you want to run? I landed it? on my shell. Ah <laughs> I'm like a cat ah, that's the opposite. Right. The turtle shell strategy. I mm -hmm. see. I see. Uh, Curio bot and Katzel, you see, you see the because it's like it's like a like a pivoting door, right? Like a trap door, mm -hmm. and it's yeah. slowly starting to reset back to its like flat position. It's already starting to reset. Oh shit! Uh, I think we might want to step back one one step. Uh, Curio bot, take a step Affirmative. back. It's gonna it's gonna pivot. So, or should we not make an attempt to save? Our party member. No, Tor, you'll be fine. Al Altor, because it's coming back up. Altor Which... will be able to hop off. No, he's down there, bro. Oh, okay, fine. Wait. Fine. Which, which Eltrich invocation did I take on level two? Uh, you took Agonizing Blast and then Repelling Blast, which lets you like knock Dang back it. anything that you hit. Okay. You now have 40 seconds before the the pit trap like fully resets itself. Hey, throw a rope down here! Hurry up! Okay, Duxel, okay. I am going to lay across my eight-foot frame. I'm going to wedge <laughs> myself in between this. <laughs> it is okay. Up, it is up to you. Fine, I'll come down and I'll pick him up, okay? Make sure you don't slip or anything, okay? Uh, I'm gonna climb down of Curie, but... Ah, you're, you're, you're using your body today. to hold it open? Yeah. Uh, yes. Curiobot, can you I give think. me a constitution check? Just click the constitution button. Normal. Oh, no damage. You feel <sighs> it, you feel it like pressuring your your wooden and metallic frame, but it's holding. You are holding. Axel, quickly. Alright, alright. I'm gonna go down. 
and bring Altor back. Wow, I'm surprised that you can carry 450 pounds. I'm not carrying your ass. Muscle. I'm not fucking carrying your ass. You're gonna climb yourself up here. You're gonna, you're gonna climb using Curio Bus body. All right, just this guy can withstand. He's, he's a fucking what do you call it? Like a war, whatever. I'm a war robot. Forged. Yes, that thing. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm a bit dumb here. All right, all right. Altor. Altor, climb back up with me. Right, uh, just... right at this point. We are going to go ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, I always roll so badly. <laughs> <laughs> Just a second. Oh, nice. It's time for some battle, huh? Caxo, the I am pit. wedged. <laughs> the, the pit. Shit. That Altor has fallen into contains two goblin skeletons, <gasps> and one live giant rat that was feeding on the goblin, the goblin corpses up until you fell down. It has sized you up while you guys were um, arguing, and it's decided that Altor is suitable prey, and it lunges to attack. Bring it on! I don't have my shield out yet, so. Kaxo, you <laughs> must jump down and aid our friend. If I move, the trap will fall. It's okay. Oh gosh, Leave it to me. Leave it to me. I got this. Oh, it rolled very poorly. Perhaps it is like engorged and sluggish from the goblin flesh that it was eating. And so, Catsel 13, you are the first one up. Yes, sir. All what right. Do you, what do you do? Torte. I mean, Altor. You took a. You took a. Shit. You took a bit too much damage there, huh? Falling down on your back, uh... Let your boy handle this one. How's that, huh? I only took two damage. I don't care, all right? <laughs> ah, it's it's Leave ten... It me. How tall is your character? Can I ask? Ketzel? Me, my character. Yeah. How tall is my character, indeed? I think you said you about six feet tall, right? Ah! Uh... Six feet, but not six feet, you know? Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. He's like five if you, feet, if you, like he said he's six feet. If you carefully <laughs> lower yourself down, I feel like you could drop ten feet relatively safety, safely, right? Like you oh, lower okay. yourself over the edge, and then like you hang down, and then drop about three feet, right? All right, but would, would that uh, decrease my turn? Um, I will I will make you use up 15, like three squares of your, of your six squares of movement. But you can drop okay. down safely without any check if you do it. So the idea is that you're not jumping down. You're very carefully lowering yourself down and you're using half of your movement. Okay, I'll do that then. Okay. Shifting. Okay, you do that. You're down in the pit now. And you yeah. see that it actually goes down a fair amount. It's like the pit is 10 feet by 5 feet. It goes down 10 feet and then there's like a, there's like a further like... There's like a little nook on the inside. And that's where the rat was feasting on goblin flesh. Oh, like an attic okay. or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Taxel. Yeah, what up? Strike down our foe. Alright, let's get this fight started, huh? Show him that we don't mess with that party. Yes, yeah, sir. Alright, what do I roll? What was uh, it? The rapier attack, I believe, right? Okay, yeah. Rapier attack. Not the sneak attack, because there's currently nobody near next to the rat yeah. that you're fighting. Yeah. yeah. Just a regular one. Oh, that. Ooh, that's Ooh. a hit. So go ahead and click the, the rapier, like, on that thing that you rolled, and then it'll automatically roll damage for you. Holy shit. Oh, wow. it's dead. You murder one it in shot. one shot. Oh, yeah. Not bad, Impressive. not bad. Impressive. Impressive. We did it! We did Friends, it! I do not know how long my body <laughs> will hold under this slab. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> we did it. Oh, sorry, but we're listening to music right now. <laughs> Please, quickly. Okay, so... How can we climb out of this pit? Should we use rope? <clears throat> I believe <laughs> how... Axel needs to return to the top. How indeed, how yeah. indeed. <laughs> Alright, let me, let me climb up to the top and grab the rope and then... Okay. Uh, Bring you're, you guys back you're gonna up, try yeah? to do like you're gonna try to do like a parkour jump, like wall jump off, and then gain enough elevation to like take hold of the ten the lip ten foot above the bottom of the pit. Yes. Uh. 
Or can I climb up through Curio Ball? Because this man's massive, right? I can just like be like a lizard and like... Mm, he's actually at the top, I believe, right? You I'm at the top. I'm, I'm laying. Machine. Yeah, I, I'm laying. Across. Yeah. All right. Parallel. Sure All right, I'll climb up using parkour skills of okay. mine. Give me an acrobatics check or an athletics check. Whichever you prefer. Okay. Whichever is higher. All right. There you go. Acrobatics. Mmm, okay. You manage to grab a hold of the lip. And with a little bit of difficulty, lever yourself up back onto... I'll move your character here. Okay. Altor <laughs> tries to do the same thing, but he jumps like an inch, and he's like... <laughs> 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 ah, Mr. Altor. Capsule, do you have, have a, a, do you have a rope? Yes, yes, give me a second. Ice. All right. Climb back up. Yep. I place the rope. Altor tugs the rope a little bit just to see if he can handle his weight. And he slowly climbs up. Like all <laughs> good adventurers, all three of our intrepid uh, adventurers have. Actually, I think Altor has two, f two 50 feet coils of rope, right? You're the one that has two. Uh, Everybody I have has 100 feet of rope. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I guess I climb out. Yep. And then Curiobot is able to like release himself and then with a thought it goes and then like it resets itself but I mean if you just put your foot down on it you'll see that it's, it's very very precarious it's very easy for it to swing up and throw you down and then like when it's resetting it's like there's a bit of resistance might I recommend to tread carefully no perhaps our rogue <laughs> perhaps our rogue can lead the way with his dark vision and his yep. light I'm going to use my body. I'm going to use my dark vision to check. Uh, where do we go? I don't even know where to go. Do we go up or down, man? Oh, do you guys not yeah. see uh, the door? Like, this is... Like, how does it see, look like to you guys? Oh, oh. Whoa, Friends. that's a door? Oh, you teleported. You're not supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> oh. Oh. You have to... You have there, to... there is a door here. Okay, there's a door here. Well... Let uh, our, allow our rogue. Can I check the door? Yes. Can I check it out? Yes. Um, I'm not going to make you do anything yet, right? So mm -hmm. you very lightly tap it, and you can feel that it's unlocked. Oh. Hey, the door is unlocked. Should we go in? Maybe, maybe there's people on the other side. We should be careful. Well, we can just bust, bust them right through from the, you know. Why don't you just... Creak it open just a tiny, tiny little bit and peek okay, in. Okay, peep through it. All right, sure thing. Okay, you guys are so cautious, man. Jesus. Okay. All right, well, I'll peep through it. Give me a stealth roll first. Stealth roll, yeah. Stealth roll. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh now, my gosh. Now, what I want you to do, Axel, is you have control of your character and then with the direction buttons, move into the room and then move out very quickly. You shouldn't be able to do that, but I will. That's the equivalent of you taking a very quick peek, right? But okay. make sure, make sure it's just like a split second, and then look as much okay. as you can and go back out. Yeah. Go, okay. Go. Ready. Sit. Oh, hey. I don't what do you see. see? I only got a quick pe sneak peek of it, but I didn't see any anyone or any monsters in there. It's just an empty room. What if? What if it's like a trap? Alright, we go in and then we get locked in. Well, Could there's be. only one door here, so... Guess we gotta that go in, true. huh? I guess we gotta. Alright, All well... Right. Altor, you... what's your... How how healthy are you? What's your hit uh, point status, huh? I've got 16 health. I'm fine. I'm fine. Alright. Well, I'll go in first, okay? I'll go in first. How's I'll that? go in second. Okay. Kira bot then follow up, alright? Alright, well, I'm you... gonna take the lead and go in. Got it. You open the door. It creaks open. Okay, I'm gonna take my step. I'm gonna go in. Yeah. All right. There's. You guys can come in. There's nothing in here. Yeah. Ah, they are requesting that you say the number out loud when you roll because. Uh, okay, sure the thing. The sure thing. Works. It's a little bit difficult to see. Yeah. Like. It's oh, okay. Sure. Okay. The first two rolls are like kind of obscured. I apologize. But okay. Okay. If sure you can thing. call your rolls. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. My stealth roll was twenty, by the way, for the people who wanted to know. Well. Standing. There's another door over there, isn't there? 
Can he? Ah, I will there just try Just a second. This circular area that you find yourself in is cobbled with cracked granite, which upon upon which sprawl the bodies of four goblins, apparently slain in combat. One corpse stands with his back against the western wall, the spear that killed it still skewering it and holding it upright. <gasps> Three wooden doors lead from this area. A hollow tower of loose masonry reaches 30 feet into the air, but the intervening floors and stairs are gone, except for a couple of crumbled ledges that look very unreliable. Okay. Hmm. Tread carefully, my friends. Well, it looks okay. like there's two doors over here, aren't there? One mm. one in the uh, northwest and the southwest. And the door that you came Whoa. in from. Yes. Yeah. yeah that okay. Too. Well, hmm. Should we leave traces back so we know where we came from? I mean, Ooh. it could be like a maze. Who knows, right? Whenever you go into somewhere unknown, you always want to do that. Just in case you're heading back. Per picture perfect memory capsule. <laughs> I'm able to map out. Wait, seriously? Oh, oh. damn, dude. You Your know what? Forage. I'm gonna leave my stamp here. Or so they say. <laughs> <laughs> Altor walks okay. forward one step, mm -hmm. jumps as high as he can, and lands on his on his shell uh -huh. to leave a little imprint, a little stamp on the ground. <laughs> oh, oh, I like that. Goodness. Oh. Could you give me a strength check? Ground check. pound. Strength check. Not How a saving throw, that? a check. So you just click on the strength button. Not the saving throw, but like. Uh... You should be able to click it... on maybe the mod. Oh, the actual name. The yeah, actual name. yeah, the actual name strength. Yeah, there it is. Uh, 22. A 22 strength roll. It cracks the ground at your feet. <laughs> And it's like there's a there's a shell like imprint in the rubble. <laughs> Yo, Altor what? jumps as high as he can in the air, two, probably two or three inches. All 450 pounds of force crashing down onto the granite below. The granite cracks underneath the, the weight of his of his shell. And when he gets up, a perfect imprint of his shell. God and then I take I take my claw out. Altor takes his claw and signs a little Altor right next to it. What? <laughs> oh my god damn it, Altor. You 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 don't hold back, do you? I'm a big boy, what do you say? Okay. I wouldn't want to be your girlfriend, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, well, let's keep moving, guys. <laughs> wait, what, wait, wait, what? Or boyfriend. Let's go. Uh... <laughs> huh? Wait, wait. Altor. Let's... I mean, Altor, you're a... What? Huh? <laughs> Let's go through this door. Oh, oh, okay. No time to waste. Oh my gosh. Ah, you've chosen the the southern door. I've chosen the southern door. You've chosen okay. death. Okay, you want to go this side, huh? Do you want me to? Do you want me to peep through it, or? Well, there is nothing in here. Why would there possibly be anything past this door? Be cautious, Kyo, but you're not gonna flavor everything it. into. Caxo. Your logic algorithm may be may need some tuning. Uh... <laughs> okay, let me let me let me have a look in this door as well. Let me sneak peek. Okay. Stealth. Uh, yeah. Stealth give me a stealth. Well, first of all, um, you you want to ascertain whether the door is locked or not, right? Oh, uh, okay. Is it locked? And then you give it a very light push, and yes, it is also unlocked. Oh, Ooh. okay. Guess I'm gonna have a stealth, you know, not stealth check. That's so meta. I'm gonna have a look. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look. It is time for me to roll my dice. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Can you roll a two? Mm. Plus six, eight. Perhaps you were you were you grew overconfident with your earlier success, and this time, although you don't, you yourself don't notice it. Maybe um, you're a little bit more overt, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take the peek. Okay. Take Go the peak. in and then out really quick. Oh, I see like a pathway to the south. Uh, no monsters or no people. enemies. Yeah, again. Let's go. I'm down. All right. Well, we slam open the door and we go in. I guess. All the right. Door creaks open. Uh. There's a room. Another the door. You enter the old approach. The masonry. Hey guys, I'm not gonna lie. There might be a trap in here. I, I, I have a feeling that there's gonna be a trap in here. No. Kyrie, I bought. Stop moving so much. You're gonna fucking like, create a booby trap. 
the old approach. The masonry walls of this 20-foot wide hall are in very poor repair. The far end has completely collapsed, filling the southern section with rubble. The western wall is in much better shape than the other walls, and it holds a stone door with a rearing dragon carved into a relief upon it. The door has a single keyhole situated in the rearing dragon's open mouth. I've heard legends of this dragon before. Its last name is Deez. Dragon Deez. Nuts. <laughs> You're so immature, Caxel. You're so immature. I can't believe you. Altor, I wiped your ass there, dude. If he, if I didn't say it, you would have had to say it, you know. And I don't, I don't want my, I don't want my guildmates to be Silence. like that, you know. Flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Seems Altor this... walks down to the south just mm. to check out the. Rubble I follow. Wall. I follow. Give me a perception check, Altor. Okay. I rolled a eleven. An 11. Um, okay. As you get closer to the pile of rubble on along the southern end of this hallway, a stench. Like, you start to smell something that does not smell pleasant. On the other side of this wall. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's actually a pile of rubble and is impassable at that point. We can't break it, possibly? Can I run as fast as I can into the wall and try to crush it? Yes, actually, if you want to. Okay. I do not know if that would be safe. You might. You for might. everyone involved. Yeah. The walls are okay, decrepit. Okay, fine, fine, Al fine, fine. Altor, what if you take damage, dude, doing that? I can Although, heal myself. I have, Altor, I have my do, own you, hands. do you notice anything? <laughs> Is there anything you notice at the far uh, it's, end? It's really stinky over there. Like, really, really stinky. Like, almost as if well, you took a big shit. Cure, <laughs> <laughs> but you don't. You don't smell anything though, right? So no, I have no okay. senses. All right, how's this? I'll take a peep through this door once again, or I'll check it out if it's locked or not. Mm -hmm. And then if it stinks inside from here, I'm gonna get you to go first because I hate smells. Like I hate bad smell. All right, Curia you should stay away from uh, Curia Bot then. Curia Bot, he just smells like cinder and the blood of my enemies. <laughs> yeah, that shit. Yeah. All right, uh, is the door opened or locked, Game Master? Ketzel, this door definitely looks different from the the two other doors that you examined in the Sunless Citadel. It is carved out of stone, and the other two were made out of rotting wood. There is no handle on this door, and there is the shape of a dragon imprinted, like carved out of the stone. And it looks very, very um, ancient and well-masoned. And beyond the skill of anything that you've seen in modern times. And in the mouth of the dragon is a keyhole. You press your hand up against it and it's solid. It does not move. It is locked. Stand back, Axel. I'm going to whack the thing with my war hammer. No, no. Why are you always so fast solving it with physical power? It's the God. only thing I know. Do you think these claws can, can pick locks? No. That's not my no Why don't you push on the door to see if it would nudge? Oh, he, he did. He pushed on it. And it's, it it's does, yeah, it's locked. very locked in place. Uh, Texel, can you peer through the, the keyhole? That's kind of scary, but okay. I'll, I'll peer through the keyhole then. A perception that check. hole was made for you. <laughs> yes. Oh my fuck. What? Huh? <laughs> what do you want me to do, huh? You want me to try to open it up with my, my little capsule, huh? Is that what you want me to do? Peer, peer into the keyhole. Perception check. Okay. Christ. Ah, a five. Um, it's not the type of keyhole that goes all the way over to the other side, so you see nothing. I don't see anything. It seems like we need to find a key. He, he yeah. can probably lockpick it, can't he? He's, a, he's I, a rogue. I mean, I don't... It's not modern-style locks, you know? It's very, like, all... Uh, like, give it a try. Why not? Give it a try. Okay, sure thing. I'll try lock. lock yeah, I mean, the only, okay. only other alternative we have is my big <laughs> warhammer. Yeah, big I can also beast. blast it with my Eldritch Blast. Axel? No, but that's a... <sighs> that is an option yes. for anything, really. You know what, Curiobot? You've gotten better in my books. You've gotten better in my books. <laughs> I like you. Oh, you guys destroy too many things. <laughs> 
I'm seeing a new right. side of Axel and I love it tonight. Uh, that's not a character. I'm sorry, that's not a character. All right, Axel. Catsel, on your character yes. sheet below the skill tab, below passive wisdom, do you see tool? And it should say thieves tools, right? Yeah. If you click on that, it'll automatically, you will automatically attempt to lockpick because your character began with a set of thieves tools and the proficiency, proficiency to use them as a rogue. Okay. So go ahead and I'll click on thieves then. tools. I'm gonna lock try lock pick this. I don't know if it's gonna work, but beautiful roll. I rolled twenty three, by the way. So despite it being this, despite it being clearly of ancient make, after a couple seconds, you start to feel like the tumblers of the lock, and like you understand that it's it's actually made similarly to the locks that you are used to picking today, um, hmm. in modern times. You reach the point where you should feel the latch open, right? And then mm -hmm. it, the entire thing goes rigid. A moment passes, and then a, an internal force like pushes your lock picking tools like out of the of the keyhole. Mm -hmm. You definitely felt like that was not physical. It got like okay. rejected, as if like mm -hmm. the air pushed it out. Okay. And then your your oh. tools clatter to the ground, but they're undamaged. You can pick them up again. Okay. Is there magic? Can we can we check if there's magic on this thing? Seems strange. Yeah, I, this was a natural force, so I don't think I don't think it was like I know I unlocked it. I did unlock it, but I mm. I couldn't open it. I, I I don't know. It's just some stand back, force. Axel. No, <laughs> you're gonna back. die, dude. This shit literally got magic on this door, man. Didn't you magic see that? Nothing on iron. No. Wait, wait, wait. Up door. Y yes. If Caxel supports my body, and you <laughs> are one willing to take some sort of damage to some degree, two take refuge fine. in your shell. I I am theorizing that I could use my Eldritch Blast <laughs> to blast you. Like a volleyball into this door. <laughs> Guys, why don't we just go look for the key, man? The you key hall. Curio butt. I like that idea. I I, I step back a tiny bit. And I I go back into my shell. Axel, I need so you long. to support me from behind. While I hold, I use I step. I I use my arms to lift to hold. Do whatever you guys fucking need. To. Like a oh, football. My. Like a football. Do whatever. Do whatever. Oh, I need fine. you to support me from the back. And yes. I, okay. Altor, are you I've safe ever... in your shell? Oh, All right. <laughs> I'm going to charge my Eldritch Blast. Oh, this is literally a keyhole, guys. Okay, am I am, as... Am I reading this correctly? You are going to attempt to propel him forward and give him additional physical strength to basically ram down that door. Yes. And in exchange for that, you are damaging Altor with your Eldritch Blast. Because Eldritch does deal force damage. And you actually have Repelling Blast, which means you can push them 10 feet in the opposite direction. Oh, Repelling Blast. Yeah. So I do. if you didn't have Repelling Blast, I think I would have... Been inclined to deny this action because you don't actually push your 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 target, but you actually do with Eldritch Blast. I have Eldritch Blast, my invocation that I got at level two. Yeah, yeah. All have, right, let's do yeah. it. So, so Altor, you are willing to take damage to gain an uh, extra boost. Yes, I do not think the second. Eldritch Blast will kill you. I don't. I don't think my. Eldritch... <laughs> I don't think I do not think my repelling blast will have enough force to fully kill you, as a, <laughs> as compared to my eldritch blast. That is fair, but give me one second. I, I come out of uh, Altor comes out of his uh, shell. Yes. Let me uh, let, let me heal up a tiny bit. <laughs> Put some lay on hands on myself. You know, heal up my oh, two well, HP. Oh, huh? after you're gonna take some damage, you don't want to do this no more. No, 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 no. no. I just Altor. need to top up my health. You know, be top in the morning to you, fella. And then I go back into my shell. <laughs> what does <laughs> what does what does top of the morning mean, though? All right, Caxo. Ah. Altor, are you ready? All right. Ah, uh, okay. Fine, you guys 
Do whatever you need. Oh. You will. You will. <laughs> you will deal damage to Altor as if you attacked him normally. Altor will move forward and ram into the door to attempt to op burst it open with strength, a strength check with advantage. But he will take damage from Elder. Will class. I take damage if he doesn't hit on my armor class? Or, hmm, good question. If he doesn't hit you squarely, I feel like you wouldn't hit the door. Like, yeah. Okay, you, you then wouldn't... I come out of my shell. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you gotta roll above a 17. Good luck. All right, I'm going to use my repelling blast. Okay. Well, you could just keep shooting until he lands, right? Okay. You know, Curio Bot, once we go back from this dungeon. You should just play bowling if you want to do this, man. I'll take you on a bowling game one time. I, I analyzed the imprint he made in the previous room. I believe this this could perhaps weaken the door. Perhaps even weakening whatever magic hold is, is keeping it in place. Weaken it? It's going to destroy it. Look at the shell. All right. How do I roll for this? Uh, it should be like Eldritch Blast in the middle underneath your temporary HP, right? Without hex. You, you haven't hexed Altor, so... You don't need to write a will, Althor. Uh, All right, Eldritch Blast. I have no one. Uh, bye bye. It bounces off his shell, deals no damage. He hey, rolled. He rolled a seven. What was that back there? Did you kick me or something? What, what was that? You felt nothing, Althor. You made your hide you, is you, you, stronger than I thought. You can shoot again. Twelve. <laughs> this one, this one lands a little bit more solidly, but it still does no damage to Altor. Altor gets very, uh, very annoyed and just starts running at the door and just crashes against it. Give me a strength check. No advantage. What am I watching? Twenty. Ooh, twenty. You deal. You you deal damage to it, but it holds because it's made out of very solid, sturdy stone. <clears throat> Any visible cracks or anything? Um, like you know, you know the dragon imprint on it. Mm. Uh, not the mouth where the keyhole is, but underneath it, like the wings and the the claws. Um, like it, it starts to like chip and like indent and like yeah. Altor takes another two steps back. <clears throat> Rams it again. <sighs> strength check. Fourteen. Mm. You're oh, starting strength save. Eh, whatever. Oh, that's a save. No, no, no. You have to do a strength check, not a save. It's not a saving throw. Gotcha. Yeah. 17. 17. Okay. You feel yourself getting winded because you're putting everything into it, right? <gasps> uh, this time, you don't see any more additional damage, and you feel like uh, if you keep going at it this hard, you might be taking physical damage to yourself. Oh, Tor. Yes. This is futile. I believe I, I feel like we should backtrack into the previous room. I've always right. that's what I'm saying. Like, so like I've always gone on the path of the rule of three. Bah. Oh my god. <laughs> 17. <laughs> Alright. Uh give me give me a constitution saving throw. Okay. Yeah. Constitution, constitution, constitution. Three. Three. Because you have utmost, because you have utmost belief in your ability, in your strength, and your ability to withstand damage, you went at it a little bit too hard, and now like you conked yourself, like maybe like while you were in the shell, like the impact, like you hit your head against the inside of the shell, Boom. Bonk. and you deal five points of bludgeoning damage to yourself. <sighs> Oh, oh man, man. I, oh, I shouldn't have It was not my idea. You oh. dumbass! Oh, my head. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe that door doesn't open. Fair enough, fair enough. Respect. Well, there's a keyhole. Oh, wait, wait. Could you Guys. go back to the door, Altor? Okay. At this point... There is a hole. There is a way. If there's a hole, there's a way. Yes, indeed. And there's a keyhole, so use that fucking keyhole, you <laughs> tortoise! At this Silent point, ass, motherfucker. out of the rubble, three giant rats spring forth, waiting for the opportunity. <laughs> no. Waiting for the opportunity to pounce on these incomprehensible <laughs> adventurers that are just ramming their heads against the stone door. Look what you've done out the. You, you tracked the. Yeah. Gentlemen, first place. Roll for initiative. Okay. 
We gotta fight, boys. Seven. Seven. Six, nine. <laughs> so I got a nine, Kiryobot got a seven, and then Caxel got a 13. Got it. Just a second. Giant rat one, giant rat two, giant rat three. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. <laughs> oh, Altor, yours didn't register. Could you just put it down manually for me? Just this one? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Sorry about that. It's okay. Uh, can I take out my shield before this or now? Yes, yes. You can go ahead and draw. Okay. All right. So so it's assumed that um, you draw. You can draw your weapons as a free action at the beginning of combat. So if you want to, okay. you could roleplay and say that I draw my, my, my weapons and shield. And like, I'll allow you to do that. Unless you get, unless you get ambushed. <laughs> mm. And they get okay. a free attack on you. A surprise attack on you. In, in which case, you will not have your shield drawn. But this is not a surprise attack. Does not count. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. I have my shield in my hand then. Ah. Uh... We gotta fight. Combat start. Bring it on. Um, get this, bitches. This rat will immediately go for the one that just took damage. Hello there, little rat. A crit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> A natural 20. <laughs> I told you you should have ridden your will. It oh, bites. Tor. It bites into your 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 delicious the delicious soft flesh of your upper arm, left arm. <laughs> I don't know whether that's your shield arm or your warhammer arm, but it deals six points of of piercing damage. <clears throat> oh. Get off me, little rat! This rat. I fucking damn it! Will rush forward and attack. Curiobot. Ah, so you have chosen your death. <laughs> <laughs> Kiribot, this is no time to be saying shit like that, dude. This it rolls, is here is about to die. It rolls a four against your AC, Kiribot. Ah, 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 ah. Fourteen. Yes, robot. <laughs> your turn. What do you do? You know what? Caxel, save our friend. All right, Altor, we're gonna focus this guy here, okay? We're gonna okay. focus them Wait, together. Be careful, you will you will pass by this rat's range. He's already, he's still in the range. He's not gonna pass out of it. What? He's still in the range of the rat, talking. so the rat doesn't get the uh opportunity strike. So true. you're fine. True. Yeah. Am I still in range? Okay. No, you're good. So, you're good. Like, so can I attack the one on the left? Or like Altor? Yeah, walk over to me. That's yep. fine. Yeah. Oops. Okay. I accidentally hold on, let me remove that. How does my hexing work? Uh, you hex with the bonus action, so you can actually uh, hex and attack on the same turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Altor, you, you can heal up while I fucking fight this guy on the left, all right? And then I come help you later. Huh? <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to attack this guy then. You get the sneak attack because it's next to Altor. Ooh, sneak attack. All right, yeah. Oh, Ooh. your attack lands cleanly. He rolled a 20, everybody. Uh, from now on, I think I will declare the rules. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh my god. You one-shot it once again. You deal nine right. points of piercing damage and, and skewer the rat, kill it. Oh, you can describe how you want to get the kill, like if you want to. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I pierce it. Pierce it with my rapier. Just like Asuna from Sword Art Online. <laughs> I pierce this little fucking rat. Six-folded oh, strike! Six-folded strike! Da, 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 da. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Okay, um, okay, so one cool thing that you have now, right, is you moved, you used your action to attack. At level two as a rogue, you have something called cunning action, and it lets mm -hmm. you dash as a bonus. So you can actually move again. Okay, I'm gonna move diagonally. I can move diagonally, right? Uh, yeah, you can. Okay, I'm gonna move uh, diagonally like here. Uh, that'll uh, force a that'll force an opportunity attack if you do that. Oh, Remember, opportunity attack! The, you, you can move you're back. Leaving the rats uh, yeah. radius. Yeah. Oh, wait, what does that mean? Opportunity attack. Like, do you see uh, this rat right here? Uh huh. It can attack you, right? And then if you mm -hmm. move out of its attack range, it gets a free mm -hmm. attack on you because, like, you you let your guard down to move away from it. Shit. It's called no. You can move okay. back. You, I'll let you move back. Yeah. So don't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I'll 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 stay here then. I'll okay. stay here. It's got cool. it. Got it. Got it. Got it. You can also disengage as a as a free action as a bonus action, which means it doesn't get an opportunity attack on you. Like if you need to run away and you're not 
You're not going to attack. You can just mm -hmm. disengage and then run. Then move. Okay. Yeah, it's All right. Very, well, very useful. Uh, or actually, wait a minute. L let me dash up one bit. All right. Cheer up, bot. We're going to beat the shit out of this guy next. All right. Altor, your turn. I take my shield off my arm, hold my warhammer in two hands. Okay. And seek out the last rat that's hiding in a corner, quivering in fear. <laughs> and I look at it in its eyes. And I smirk. And I lift my warhammer and strike straight down on it. Uh, how do I do that again? Make your attack roll. Oh, clean hit. 23. Clean hit. Let's go. And it's for, uh, how do I? 10 damage. 10 damage. It's one hand or two hand? You said two handed, right? Two hand. Oh, shoot. Two handed, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll let it. Uh, it's, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It dies anyways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> it functionally, yeah, yeah, it does. How do you kill it? So I, I raise the Warhammer up to the skies and scream. And splat it onto the ground. All of its blood and and fur just splatting onto the walls of the of the corridor. Oof. Beautiful, beautiful. Just blood and guts everywhere. And this the reek and stench of this area that you detected earlier goes it gets kicked up a notch. If it smelled <laughs> if it smelled like refuse before, it's just like <laughs> unbearable now. <laughs> oh, that's the rat that you just killed. Nice. Magbot. <laughs> Oh, not Magbot. <laughs> Curiobot, your turn. <laughs> Curiobot, engage you. Axel. Yes, sir. Cross your fingers and pray. <laughs> huh? I charge uh, up my eye first. I hex this rat. You hex the rat. Pray to the AIs. And I, I am going to attempt a hexed Eldritch Blast on this oh tiny creature. <laughs> well, uh, oh, that's... Oh, do whatever, do whatever, man. Do whatever. Just don't destroy the room, okay? <laughs> I don't want to be in on the rubble, you know. Like, oh, clean hit. Uh, nice. I, 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 I step. Doom, doom. <clears throat> My body unfolds and opens up like a lotus flower blooming in the light. <laughs> <clears throat> God damn it. At Caxel's eyes widen in fear as he's never <laughs> seen anything like this before. <laughs> Only in Goddamn, yo! From the middle of my chest chest protrudes what seems like a railgun, a cannon. And from the, the end, a light starts to shine. The rubble on the ground shakes. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> the, the room fills with a, a ghastly red light. <laughs> As oh, it no. charges up, the room's temperature had what, what was cold previously from the descent. Now, <laughs> now slightly warm. <laughs> this tiny <laughs> rat looks up. <laughs> <laughs> Looking up in fear at the Magbot's hexed Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Blasting out. The room filled with dust. <laughs> As the entirety of the rat's body is consumed by the flames of this, of my edge, eldritch blast, consuming it, the fur on Axel's tail becoming singed as his, <laughs> as his proximity to the blast, <laughs> the rat eviscerated. All that left oh, is damage. damage. Deal your damage. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap! You did 17 points of damage! <laughs> 17 points of damage! Oh, I have to crap. Taking the, this guy to crisps! I have, to show, the, I have to show chat. Like, the oh. blunt of the blast <laughs> oh onto its body. The gut splattering backwards onto Altair's shell. <laughs> and from the corpse, a red mist of its soul leaves its body, enveloping, yeah! enveloping around my feet as I claim, as I claim its life force for my temporary shield. Oh my <laughs> goodness. You gain, you have to, re you have to erase the temporary HP that you had, but you gain six temporary HP. It doesn't stack, but yes. Yeah. For those of you who do not know, <sighs> any foe slain by Kiriobot, their life force is used to create a shield of temporary hit points around me. 
The railgun powers down. Magbot's body returning to its original form. Caxel shaking <laughs> as his fur is hit. It's singed. The, the, the smell, although Kiriobot does not smell, the smell of burnt fur fills the room. Altor Kiriobot. wipes the blood and guts off no, no, of him. No, 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 no. Hey, Caxel. Hey, hey Caxel. Can you uh, wipe my shell? Yeah. Like, I can't reach. No! I can't reach the, can't reach the blood and guts. <laughs> well, time to take a fucking bath, maybe, Altor. Mm, okay. Kira, but... Oh, where did you get these celestial weapons from, dude? How do you deal that much damage? Kiriobot does not remember how, <laughs> when this form came upon him. All oh. I know is power and death and the blood of my enemies. God damn it, dude. Uh... You know what? Give me a high five. That was cool. <clears throat> High five. Oh. Thank you. <clears throat> that was good. Mm. Come, friends. We must venture for the solution to this door. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's cool. go. Cool, cool. I just want to teach you something back. about your character, uh, Diz. So you you still have Hex active for one hour, right? Mm. The next time you take a turn in combat. Just that next turn you take a turn, you're allowed to hex a new target. You still have hex active. But if you go one if you go one turn without doing it, then it ends. The spell ends, right? You are also concentrating on a spell right now, which means you cannot use another spell that has concentration without ending hex. That's not an issue because you don't have any other spells that use concentration. That's not a big deal. But the other thing is, like whenever you take a hit in damage from now on. And that's like your actual HP, not your temporary HP. You have to roll a constitution saving throw or you get your, your spell casting interrupted. I see. I have to like boom, wang, lang, mc, glue, mc, glue, yeah. like I have to like be yes. concentrating on yeah. it. I see. But temporary HP blocks the, con the, the constitution saving throw. So like it's actually pretty baller. Anyways, that's all that I wanted to teach you about, about yeah, your ability. Hex the door. Eldritch blast the door. Deal 17 Ooh. damage to the door. <laughs> No, we're looking for a key, guys! Caxel, <laughs> Caxel, lead the way. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the main room. Hexador! <laughs> I'm gonna fully use my lay on hands, by the way, so I have zero, zero left and I have 14 health now. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. God damn it. Was there not a speared body in here? There yes, was. yes, there was. It's right there. Uh, let me let me point it out. Let me ping it right here. It's a it's a oh. goblin soldier that's been skewered to the wall. A goblin soldier. But what is maybe... the state of the body? Uh, it's this been it, the been feet done. and legs have been gnawed off. What looks like by rats, but the corpse itself is still above the the knees. Is still there. Okay. Uh, can we search the corpse? These rats I'm like gonna... feet. Yes. Please roll uh I like chicken feet too. They're pretty tasty. Alright, well I'll investigate this guy to see if he has a if he has a actually I'm really shit at investigating though, so but I'll try it. Uh pretty good. He Katzel rolled a sixteen on his investigation roll. So oh, you, wow. you are you are checking the corpse, right? Mm -hmm. Uh give uh, I'll I'll roll for you. You find 16 silver coins in a, in, a, in a purse on the goblin soldier's person. And while you are um, like looting it and checking it for, for damage and, and uh, like clues as to like what happened, mm -hmm. you, you look behind the goblin and there's something etched into the wall behind the goblin. May I check what that is? Uh, you look at it and you do not understand the language that it's written in. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What, what, are your, what, are your, what are your two languages that you know? Everybody starts I... with two languages. Oh, where does it say? Uh, it should Can be just underneath, underneath the thieves tools. It should be like proficiencies and languages. Uh, give me a quick second. Bottom left. Yeah, let me check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want this spear. Oh. oh, yeah, you can pull the spear up. I reach out with my giant warforged hand, grabbing, grabbing the spear. Yes. Uh, no, no check necessary. You pull it, you pull the spear out of the goblin, and it was inside the wall a little bit, lodged into the wall. You pull it out, and then the goblin crumples in a heap onto the floor, and you now have a spear. A crude spear. Nice. My arsony grows. <laughs> <laughs> Another one to add to my collection. 
By the way, I can speak common language and elven language. Elven. It is not Ooh. elven. Stand I can't read this. Any of you guys? Are, Allow are me I... to see. I'm able to speak the tongue of dragons. Oh, draconic? It is draconic, right? Draconic. You can read these runes. They read <gasps> Ashtalon. Ashtalon, it reads. Ashtalon. What does that mean? Ashtalon. Ashtalon. They're not they're not crudely etched into the wall. It looks like they were probably put into the walls of the citadel when it was made. Hmm. Ashtalon. Ashtalon. Do you think that's like a phoenix or something? Well, I guess there's no point really in thinking about it now because we have nothing we can relate to this word. Do you yeah, want to try to look stupid, for the... So. Yeah, we're all pretty <laughs> dumb, not gonna lie. Yeah. Alright, well, let's go let's check, check the other door. door. Yeah. yeah. Can I... Can I, what was it? Ah, check it? Check. Yes. Touch the door, yeah. Very lightly push it. It is made out of wood like the other doors and it is unlocked. Once again. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll peep through it, yeah? Okay, peep it. Oh, it. stealth check, stealth check. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, there sir. you go. It's okay. Uh, 18 on his stealth check. Go ahead and like peep through. Mm -hmm. I'm going to peep through. Yes, sir. Real quick. Oh, it's a corridor and there's no one there. I think it's actually safe to go in once again. We said the last like three rooms. <laughs> Let us enter. All right. Well, I'm just going in. You guys feel free to follow me. You open the door into the corridor. Uh, yeah, it's, it's clean. Yeah, let's go. There's three doors. Three doors <clears throat> in this corridor. Yeah, there's three, three doors. Shall we separate? No, 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 no. no. I think that's a wonderful friend. idea. No. Three doors, three adventurers. We will save time. Who knows no. how expansive this cave is? No, I mean, I but... live indefinitely, but you mortals have... A finite time on this earth. Think of it in a machine way, right? We gotta parse through each and every door, not go through each of it and every one of them at the same time and search every single one at the same time. You gotta go through each and every one door at one at a time. Go through all the data. I forgot what that's called. What's that parsing called? In, in Caxo. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. I don't know what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Caxo, choose a door. Let's just parse through these. Procedural? Well... As a guy, I would go with the middle one. Go to the middle. Okay. Right you. Go on. You got this. I'm going to go through. Can I touch the door? Examine it? Yes. You examine it. This is also a wooden door, not a stone door. But however, okay. this one is locked. All right. Kira bot, you know what to do. Blast <laughs> open this bad boy. Stand back. All right. I am going to use my Eldritch Blast on this on this <laughs> door. Yes, sir. Roll roll damage. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Roll damage. Oh, not damage. Uh, yeah. Okay, twelve. It lands. Nice. It meets the it beats the AC of the door itself. Go ahead and roll damage. It shifts the weight. the The wood of the door is rotting. It doesn't go down, but like you blast a hole clean through the door. Oh. Am I am I able to force the door open? Uh, it's still closed. It's just like right through the center of the door. Like you just blast a hole. Stand I'm aside, Curio Bot. Wait. Stand aside. Wait, wait. Before. Let us peer through to yeah, see. Yeah, you can actually look clearly through the hole. I'm going to scan through this hole. So I am going to open the door, but the door is still there, okay? And you guys can mm -hmm. look through it, like taking turns and going through the eye hole, okay? Okay. Okay. The door... Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh, wait, what is that? I will describe the room to you. One moment. Friends, there is some sort. F friends, friends, be quiet. There is some sort of creature. <laughs> Crudely executed symbols and glyphs, glyphs, scribed in a, bright, in a bright green dye, decorate this large and irregularly shaped crumbling chamber. A large pit in the center shows evidence of a recent fire. 
A metallic cage in the middle of the southern wall contains a gaping hole and stands empty. A small wooden bench draped with green cloth is next to the cage, and several small objects rest on it. A bedroll lies near the wooden bench, and the sound of whimpering and crying comes from inside of it. What do you do? Friends. Friends, there is some sort of creature. Take a look. Quietly. I mean, yes, yes, and That's... someone's, like, crying. That must be... <laughs> That looks like a kobold. I mean, you wanna go? You wanna go fuck this guy up there? We gotta execute we gotta, him. We gotta, wait, we gotta save wait. him. Hold on. I do not trust. What? What could possibly be down here worth saving? We had to kill many giant rats. What kind? This is a trap if I've ever seen it. You see well, that creature right there? Do you see the spear I got from the goblin in the prior room? Oh no. Am I? I am going to attempt through the hole in the door to spear this to, to oh. get a preemptive strike with my spear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, spear is a simple weapon. Do you have proficiency with simple weapons? Curio bot. Simple weapons. Let me check. Uh. Let me check real quick. I can check faster than. I believe you do, but I want to double check. Yes, simple weapons, light armor. Got it. You are you are allowed to hurl the spear. Oh shoot! Just a second. Up to twenty feet. Ten feet. That's okay. far. It's going Cause... to be it's going to be a strength. <laughs> it's going to be a strength ability check. Perhaps I should give this spear to someone else. <laughs> give it over. Come on, give it to me. Okay, Altair, take the spear from me. Clearly a kobold. Okay. <clears throat> a lizard-like creature. Watch and learn. Oh god. I take my arm, hold it all the way back, and throw it as far as I can right okay. into the kobold. Okay. Keep Stretch in mind it. that it's obscured by a blanket, right? It's inside of a roll, so you can't actually see it. So you don't know where its head is and where like its butt is. I just throw it at the fleshy mound yeah, that's like, in front of me. You're you're throwing it into the middle, right? Mm-hmm. And how should I do that? Th strength check or wait? It's 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 a there's a blanket over it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess it's too late. Did you want to set it on fire? Is that what you wanted to do? Well, we're here to save some kids, right? Oh, that is true. They're not well, kids. They're adults. Okay. Uh, yeah, Lady Carolyn's children are adults. They're they're twenty An adult and twenty. Be whimpering. Mm -hmm. Spear I, I... that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> So, Altor, you'll be rolling a d20 plus okay. your strength modifier plus your proficiency, which is two. So I believe okay, that's so plus, plus five. five. Plus five, I believe. Yeah. So it's just like a combo that's attack? a crit. Oh my god. Okay, so now <laughs> to roll damage, you're going to be rolling two d ro slash roll two d6 uh -huh. plus your strength mod, which is three. Plus three, right? Got six damage. Oh, so 12 damage? It, it doesn't... It No, no. It's, it's 6 damage. Okay. However, it doesn't even cry out. Uh, it just it just falls silent. What if it's dead already? It's dead. <laughs> oh. Like, you... Like, it... It thunks into the bedroll. Oh. And then you see blood, like, blossom out from where the spear went in, and it doesn't even cry. It, it was like... <sighs> And he goes, uh, and then it like completely uh -oh. silent. Well, let's open the door. Let's let's break this bad boy open. Okay, Whoa. smash it all, oh, Tor. I got my warhammer. Yeah, deal, deal uh, attack roll with with the warhammer. Okay. There is an AC on doors. Oh, Twenty five. My God. Oh. Okay, and then you can roll. You could click warhammer, and it'll automatically deal the critical damage. Yeah, you break, damage. you break the door down. And it's very, very loud. Hmm. I walk in. I'm coming in behind you. I'll follow up. I want to lift the cloth over and see who it was. It was a creature. Wait, 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 wait. Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. He does <laughs> unfurl the bedroll and out rolls the body of an adult kobold. Which is still about the size of maybe like a four or five year old child. 
<laughs> but it, it's dead. And then if you look at the, uh, give me give me an insight roll check. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen on your inside check. Okay. The look on its face says that it's more peaceful now than it than when it was when it was alive. I put it to rest. I put it We're to rest. We're rescuing them, my friends. Send them to a better place. From the pain of the world. Altor's yes. Altor's God say, says that it was a mercy killing. And that whatever this this pathetic creature was, is or was, it's in a better place now. Kiriabot grabs the carcass, lifts it up into the air with one hand. Okay. Taking his other hand. Okay. Puts it onto the skull of the creature. Oh my god. Oh my god. Twisting it like a bottle cap, ripping oh the head off. Yeah, yeah. Spine flowing out. Yeah, yeah, but... yeah, Opening but... my mouth. <laughs> I allow the blood to flow, dripping into my carcass. Into the into the cavity of my body. Okay. Is, is that necessary? Although Kiriobot is strong, he does not know how to extend the life of his. <laughs> and so, at any given turn, he uses what he might think might extend, might fuel, fuel his warforged body. Whenever he encounters a new creature, he drinks its blood in an attempt. I can respect that. Okay. A true warrior, huh? And I fling the carcass onto the floor. And it, and it hits the ground with a... Like a squelchy... Because it's missing its spine now, right? Something like that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what does the party want to do from here? There's some items on the table, right? Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Caxel's huddled on the ground, looking up in horror. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just like, man. This poor little dude was probably just doing his guard duty or some shit in this. He shouldn't have been sleeping on the job. You are checking uh... the altar, right? Mm -hmm. The bench serves as a tiny sort of altar. Resting on it are containers of green dye, a paintbrush made of goblin hair bristles, and four tiny jade figurines of dragons, each worth 15 gold coins. Oh! So we're gonna, we're gonna automatically convert them to gold coins just because it's a little bit cumbersome, right? To keep track of things that are worth anything. So I will tell you what you recover and like what it's worth and then just convert it immediately to gold if that's okay with you guys. Okay. 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 So, so we each get 15 gold? Uh, you each get 15, and then there's one additional 15 gold, right? It's four tiny jade figurines of dragons, each worth 15 gold points. So it's 60 mm. gold total. So you could just say 20 each, right? Okay, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Wink. Bedinkum. Kind of want to check out this cage. Mm. Like, there's got to be a reason why it's here, right? Wait, so we are out of the gold to the, what was it, inventory, do we? Yeah, it should be, it should be like GP, EP, SP, and CP. CP is copper points, or copper coins. A gold point. Silver, gold, and then I think maybe Ooh. E, which is electrum, right. just ignore that, and then P, platinum. So 20. 15 gold or 20 gold? Uh, each, you each get 20 gold. Okay, and I got like silver from the one before, didn't you I? Did. When you I did, you did. I forgot six, to add it in. 16 silver coins. 16 silver coins, okay. Uh, somebody check the cage, right? Yep. Uh, a metallic cage in the middle of the southern wall contains a gaping hole and stands empty. It looks like three or four of the bars were like ripped apart. It's not like the cage was opened. And then, yeah. Oh no. Something strong was in there. What were they holding? Mm, we should tread carefully, my friends. Mm. Mm. Who knows I'll what else lies deep in these caverns. Um, be careful. There might be traps in this room as well. Uh, I'll try look out for traps. Can I like investigate for traps? Yes, actually, that's a perception check. Perception check for traps. Perception check. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me check your range as well. Go ahead and do, do your perception check roll for traps. I'm gonna check your range. Okay. Seventeen. A seventeen. Just a second. One moment. Ah, you detect a trap. Oh, oh! Let me show you where you detect the trap. Wait, Ketzel? Yeah. Yep. 
and what it is. Okay. You yeah. detect a trap right here. Oh, that, right in front okay. of the door. That's a door, and it's a trap on the door. Let me describe it to you. Okay. Uh, that door leading into that room is trapped with a tripwire. Oh. And the tripwire is two inches off the ground, stretched between the oppos opposing door frames and running up the frame. And then it leads, there, in, it leads into the room. Is there any way to, like, sabotage your trap? Uh, you can attempt to disarm it, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna... Hey, boys, I found a trap in front of that door. Um... I'm gonna attempt to disarm it, but if we can't, then we're gonna have to look for other options. So I'm gonna try disarm it. Okay. Uh, give me a thieves tools check to disarm that trap. Yeah. Thieves tools check. An eleven. Uh -oh. It is a very crude trap, and you you accidentally cut the wire, <laughs> and and you're like oh oh, but actually it goes. And then, like nothing drops down, so you've actually disarmed the trap. It's a very, cr oh. it's a very crude trap. Oh, all right. Well, I, I somehow managed to disarm it. So I guess. Do you want to check this room? Might as well, right? Because it's surely the trap is meant to keep something. Exactly. So oh, maybe there it's the key. Might be something but worth. Let me check the door out before, just in case. You know, maybe it was like a dangerous being in oh, here wait. that they kept locked away it could be you know was there anything on the kobold's body could we check for that ah good question oh i didn't check it do you do one of you guys want to go check it i'm checking the body yeah i'm gonna get to the rest real quick sorry about that mm -hmm. no problem okay. ah so that's why that room was so stinky it was outdoor shit <laughs> i don't know i don't i do not know i haven't i have not smelt anything this kobold was right. unarmed. It didn't have anything with it. It didn't have any coins, but it did have a whip. A whip. I take the whip. Attached to its belt. A very crude whip. Okay. You can add it to your inventory. Anyway. Uh, Katzel, you want to check that door, right? Yeah. Give me a perception check. Perception check. Let me... Uh, perception... Hey. Mm, you roll a four. Uh, Castle rolled a four on the perception check. Um, you push the door open, and it is unlocked. What? It's not locked, guys. It's it's open, this door. That's weird. They even had a trap for it. and it's Perhaps the trap is good enough. Why lock a door if it is trapped? Enter. Enter, I say. Uh, okay, I'll enter then. I I I enter the room. You enter the room. <laughs> oh, Axel. There there are three kobolds that were that were asleep in on filthy straw mats on the floor. Opening the door has woken them up. They're groggy. A few of them have realized the danger that they're under. They screech out. <laughs> They start grasp grasping for their weapons as quickly as they can, but you have to jump on them. You get one free attack, the three of you, and then I will begin combat. Okay. Uh, well, let's take on one on each, okay? 1v1 these motherfuckers, all right? We got this. We're guild. Hey, what's going on here? Ah, you're back from your shit, Altor. Welcome back. That's one why that room was so stinky. I figured out, Altor. What? One let's free go. Attack, let's fight these and guys. Then combat will start. Let's attack these guys. Let's go. Let's go. Pick your... Pick your... Pick your opponent. Am I able to hex? Still. Yes. Yeah, you are. I'm going to hex the far, far kobold. Got it. <laughs> Get your free attacks right. in. We'll do Katzel first, and then Curio Bot, and then Altar. All right. So it's just a normal attack, right? Yeah. Rapier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Actually, that one you have uh, sneak attack because Curio Bot oh. is next to it. Shit. Uh, well, can I, can I just that attack, that or... attack lands. Just uh, go ahead and roll the rapier damage, and then at roll another d6, and then that'll be okay, your damage. Okay. Oh, <laughs> is dead. You don't oh, even, need, you uh, don't even need to roll sneak attack damage. Holy it's crap, dude! Super I assassinated this guy. <laughs> Let's go! I'm an assassin, baby. Curio bot, your turn. Text Eldritch Blast. 
That attack lands. As as the kobold is being alerted, <laughs> looking up, conf groggy, confused. It's it's it has one knee up, propped up. It's reaching for its weapon. It gets grass. It grasps a weapon in his hand. As it looks up, he like <laughs> he hears, jolts up. He looks and to see his brother stab, pierced to the heart. And before he can even before he can even wake up fully, process what is happening, he looks up. With the with the light of a thousand sirens shining in his face, <laughs> it's like blasting. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the, the room lights up in a ghastly red. <laughs> Deal your damage, Killbot. Thirteen <laughs> points of damage. You obliterate this thing. <laughs> Would you like to do any, any, any flavor text for the kill, or, or do we move on to the next one? Ah, yes. As the smoke clears from the room, the f the first kobold was slowly grasping onto the last, last moments of its life. But in the, in the final moments, before he was e even able to be released from this life, <laughs> he turns to see his brother being eviscerated. And that is the last thing he sees before he <laughs> falls to the ground with his pierced heart and passes away. <laughs> As the smoke clears the room, the, the, the bloody mist from the kobold's body enshrouds Kiriobot, enveloping him in another temporary hit shield. <laughs> Can I make a like an out of out of character statement, like of observation? Mm -hmm. Kiriobot reminds me of do you remember the angel in Evangelion? The tr the blue like pyramid thing? Oh my god, that guy. And, and it, yeah, goes, it goes like <laughs> and it like melts a mountain. That's what I imagine every time you like oh land an attack. <laughs> Ramio, yeah, the Ramio. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, uh, Altor, your turn. You get your free attack, and then combat will start. Sure. The last kobold in the corner is whimpering and fear, seeing two of his friends, siblings maybe, eviscerated in front of their eyes. And he looks up to the to the turtle, the massive, tor massive tall turtle, looking at him with two hands on the warhammer <laughs> as he feels the rush of wind when it flies towards him and I roll 15 clean hit roll okay. your damage six damage six damage it kills it let's go and all that's all it knew splatted against the wall coloring the walls in a nice red blood color well, we don't need to do any more renovations anymore <laughs> all done <laughs> Well, Combat over that's before you get started. Easy. Shit. We sneak attack them. Good job, guys. <laughs> I'm leaving the room. Is there anything wait, on wait. Ah. Let's check the room. Let's check the room. Yeah. Good question. <laughs> this oh, must be see. like the the like sleeping room or whatever, right? Which means there's got to be important stuff here. I'm guessing. Check for a <laughs> key, perhaps. This is the cold yeah. guard room. In the middle is a small pit of embers, a built of broken masonry and portions of shattered stone sculptures. And it smolders in the center of this chamber that you find yourself standing in. Arrayed around the pit are several small rugs woven of matted hair and dead fungi. Fungi. <clears throat> and then obviously there's three dead kobolds that you just bushwhack. <laughs> if you want to check the kobolds. Yeah. They... Does anything remain in the ashes of this kobold I just obliterated? Uh, just its hands, its feet, and the spear that it was trying to grab, but didn't manage to grab in time before you obliterated its torso and head. So There's nothing. A crude spear, yeah. I take the spear. <laughs> okay, add another spear to your inventory. Uh, Altor, can you give me a an investigation check? Sure. Ten. A 10, okay. Among the three kobold guards that are in this room, you scrounge out four silver coins. Ooh. And if you look at the Yoink. face of them, they're of ancient make. They're not modern silver coins. Oh. The face on it is unfamiliar to you. It's unfamiliar to you. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, this room is empty. Did Axel check his... It's kobold, or oh, I'm, I imagine uh, you checked all three. I thought, yeah, you checked. <gasps> okay, 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 gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. All right, I'm out of here. Let us leave. 
Okay, I'll, I'll follow you guys and leave. Wow, there's nothing in there, really. I'm surprised. Now there we could doors. explore. Yeah, we could explore. There's three doors. There's one door up here, too. Yeah, I think we should. Uh, let's clear from the top. How's that, guys? Let's do it. Sounds good. Let's go. Okay. Taxo, lead. All right. Well, I'll peep through the door again. Okay. This door is uh, also unlocked. Give me a stealth check. Oh. Stealth check. Okay. Go oh ahead and do your, do your peeking strut. 17. Oh. Yeah. 17. There's nothing in here. I think we can just walk in, guys. Let's go. Okay. So okay. You're, going to, you're going to open the door? Yeah. Give open me a second. the door and go in. The door swings open. All right. Let's go in, guys. It's a small hallway. Yeah, it is. It's pretty narrow. Ooh, do you think I can fit in there with my shell? Yeah, it's okay. <gasps> I think you can. <laughs> my stomach in. <laughs> <laughs> the sides of the wall scrape against the each each side of my shoulder. Eep! I could barely make it through. Ah, oh, my ears. Oh, God damn it, curio butt. <laughs> He I would like, walked in, like, I would like know, all sideways. three of you to make a perception check. Uh, okay. I rolled ah! a five. A five. Wait, where is that? Where is oh, that? Three. Isn't that like fumbles? Skills? I see it. Didn't I fumble the roll? <gasps> a 12 for Curiobot. Oh, and you, you a 13 for the perception check. Okay. Um, this area is super dusty. Very, very dusty. More, more so than the other areas. That, every other room that you've been to so far in here hasn't been too dusty. But this one, you get the feeling that not a lot of people have gone through this way in a very, very long while. Or Curiobot does. Hmm. Continue. We can keep walking down the hall. We, we'll see. Allow me to lead. Oh, okay. Do you want me to check the traps, or? Hmm. If you would like to, you could, you could, you could just do your perception check without asking. Yep. Your... Yeah. Give I'll, me a... I'll do perception check. A perception check, check to to check for traps. Yeah, for traps. Within thirty feet, your vision. Yep. I uh, did the percep a f perception a check. A fifteen. Yeah. I 15. see. Mm -hmm. Uh, Castle rolls a fifteen on his perception check to check for traps, and you don't see anything within thirty feet of you. Mm. Okay, I guess there's no traps, guys. We mm. can keep moving. No further Either way, door here. Do you want me to peep through this door as well, or? Carry a bot grabs the door. <laughs> <laughs> I am shielded with the the blood of my enemies. I can take a hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The door. I yank it. The door is unlocked. Unlocked, and you yank <laughs> it open. It rips off of the hinge. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the strength to rip the door off oh, the hinge? Four, four strength. <laughs> you have four strength. I use both hands. <laughs> <laughs> Let me describe the room. This empty chamber is home to only rat droppings, crumbled flagstone, and stains. Unknown stains. Stains. Shit stains. Blood. Shit. Who knows? Texel, check there's this a, door. There's, there's another door. Okay, I'm gonna take a sneak peek through it. Stealth check. Got it. Oh, 21. baby, 21. You Ooh. do this very, very stealthily, this door is locked. Stand aside, Texel. <laughs> oh, not again. Alright. I mean, you could just pick it. I hate to, I hate to like, tell people what to do, but... You are, you are. What do you want to do, Caxel? Do you want to do you want to pick it, or do you want to let me? Well, I don't. I don't want you to boy. take. I don't want you to take damage, but you're insisting to. Then I'll. Oh no, no, no. I'm just gonna use my warhammer. Don't worry. This time. Okay. Feel mm. free to use the warhammer. Okay. You lead the way this time. I've raised my warhammer two-handed, and used my momentum and spin into the wall. Got it. And roll, whack roll, it. attack roll against the door. Nineteen. That's a clean hit. Roll your damage. Okay. Eight, Eight damage. damage. You, you rock it on its hinges, and it's a three-hinge door, and two of them, like, 
like they're rusty and old and you hear them mm -hmm. like snap with like a metallic shearing noise but one hinge is still there so the door is still standing but it, yeah okay i'll lock pick the last one how's that Oh. Bro, it's a, it's a hinge. Yeah, it's a hinge. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh it's a hinge. Can I just, like, take oh, both my two hands and show Kiriobot how it works? Dig him into the wall, into the into the door, and rip it off its hinge? Single oh, hinge. Oh, okay. Yeah, give me yeah. a strength check. Not not a saving throw, a strength check. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I sent it in, but didn't go. Okay, hold on. Oh, 18 strength check. 18. You pass the strength check, and you rip the door off its hinges. <laughs> Let me go ahead and <laughs> remove the door for you. Oh. That's how you do it. I throw it behind my behind my back, like straight backwards. Oh, you're flexing on Curiobot. Okay. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Let, let me go I'm ahead doing. and describe the room before you guys move in. <clears throat> the room with a dry fountain, dust and odd bits of stony debris and rubble lie scattered all along the floor in this room. An ornate fountain is built into the eastern wall, though cracked and stained. The fountain's overarching carving of a diving dragon retains its beauty. A relief-carved stone door stands on the western wall. Hmm. Karyobot enters. <laughs> okay, I'll follow. Damn, this looks like a save point to me, guys. Oh? Maybe... Do you maybe see the this... door and the, the, the fountain? The dry fountain with the dragon statue? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Wow, this. Kaxo, investigate big. the area. Well, it's pretty damn big. I'll investigate this room first, okay? Let's check, go from this door first. You're How's checking that? the door? Yeah, give me a perception yeah. check. Perception check. Checking that door. Ooh, cheeky 22. Cheeky 22. Ooh. Isn't that the best 20. roll I can get? It is, yeah. That's a nat 20. You detect a trap on that door. And it's a serious trap. <laughs> it's not Ooh. it's not a it's not like a crude trap set by like kobolds or, or whatever else is in here. Mm -hmm. This is a trap that was that was made when this fortress was made. So it's it's more dangerous than the traps that you've been encountering. Did I decide can I disarm it? You could try to, yeah. Okay, these two, was it? Yes. I'm gonna try Good to luck. Uh... Good luck with that, bro. If I die Be wary. Uh, I'll try my best. It's a dangerous trap. It's more dangerous than any of the other traps that you've seen in this... Wait, Kaxo. ...fortress thus huh? far. Might we explore all our options? Before we go into this one. Are we able to simply obliterate the trap? Are we? What do you, what do you reckon would happen? <laughs> I don't know. I don't like I'll try. I don't like that Let, let's try it. Okay, I'll try this first. Okay, I'll try and lock it. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Good luck. Oh, Twenty-three. A twenty. Damn it! Why? What the fuck? Damn it! Is. Katzel rolls a twenty-three on his thieves' tools check to disarm the trap. You disarm the trap. The trap. Nice job, Katzel. The oh, trap is I permanently disarmed. disarmed. Very nice work, Katzel. Well, can I, like, peep through it for the 22 roll perspe perception I did beforehand, or...? Um, wait, wait, let me check something. You deactivated it. Deactivated the trap. Ah, okay. Um, it's locked, unfortunately. <laughs> the trap, the <laughs> trap that's guarding the door has been deactivated. But the it was a doozy locked. of a trap, and um, but the door is still locked. Yeah. Step aside, Caxel, once again. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, made me do all the hard work, and then you're just gonna blast the door open like that, Thor. There, ah. I mean, Altor. <laughs> Magni, uh, not Magnibot. Curiobot, you can read Draconic, right? Oh, yes, I can. There is more. There is more writing, Draconic writing, on the door. Ooh. Gentlemen, there appears to be a scrawl of some sorts. Carvings on the western door show skeletal dragons that are circling each other. A draconic inscription in the middle of the door reads, Rebuke the dead, open the way. Within uh -oh. five feet of the door, the air is noticeably cooler, and the door itself is cold to the touch. Ice cold. Well, what does that mean, guys? I'm dumb. I don't understand. Rebuke, Rebuke is like disapproval. Rebuke the dead. 
open the way. I think we've been rebuking the dead all up until this point, boys. <laughs> yeah, why don't we just go in, man? Let's okay. just break this door open and let's just go in. I have my two-handed warhammer on my shoulder. <laughs> swing it into the door again. Just a second. Let me check something. Okay. Sure. I don't have uh -oh. all the information. Rebuke the dead. <laughs> Chat saying you're the smartest of the group, Axel. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the highest uh, intelligence stat, dude. Okay. Well, 10's not high. We just all dumb. That's all. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Ah. It's a stone okay. door. Yeah. So you're going to try to like 16. break break it down. Okay. Uh yeah. That that's a that's a clean hit. Deal damage. 9 damage. 9 bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. You definitely dealt like you felt you felt it start to like the door itself is gives. You know what I'm talking about like when you hit a door and then it like kind of like right. But it bounces back into place, kind of. Like, it comes back into place. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, Jiri, boy, do you want to just blast it open, then? Allow me. Stand aside, friends. Wait. It's all you. How? What is the range of my blast? 120 feet. What? What is each tile? Five feet. Are, is there power drop-off? No. It deals maximum damage at 115 so feet. I could be here. Yeah. This whole corridor, you and blast. blast some poor soul. <laughs> yeah. Stand aside, friends. I'm going to launch my Eldritch Blast at this door. Are Damn, we sure we wish to venture through this door first or even attempt this? Altor goes into his shell. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Paxos, stand behind his shell. Uh, okay. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Deal your damage. I've rolled a 23. Six damage. Plus nine. Fifteen damage. Yeah, you, you deal the damage to the door. And then again, you see that it's not a piece of the wall. It is a door. So there's a little bit of give. And then it's still standing. And you don't think you're close to destroying it yet. But you That's have, all I got, boys. You have dealt you have dealt damage to it though. I want to try to run into it one more time. That's my last resort. You've Which, already okay. taken. I don't know if you will. Okay. <laughs> I Go just on. Eldritch blasted this door. It's, it's 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 different this time. I have have twenty five feet of running space, so I think I'm good. I think I'm good. You're gonna charge at the door. <laughs> yeah. Give me a strength check. Nine. <laughs> you bounce off of it. You're not. You're not gonna take. You're not gonna give yourself a concussion. For, but you deal no uh, damage to the door. Uh, oh, the door is solid. Oh man. That oh, hold on, second, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh. No, I'm not that cruel. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. Caxo, investigate oh. this dried up fountain. Okay, I'll investigate the lockpick the door. <laughs> I could lockpick it literally, actually. <laughs> you know what? Let me let me try lockpick if you got god damn it. Fiz <laughs> damn it. I'm gonna try lockpick it with Thieves Tool. Yep. Is it? Yeah. Thieves Tool? Thieves Tool check. Okay. I got 18. Nice. 18 with your Thieves Tools check to unlock this door. You're doing a good job. You feel that the tumblers clicking into place, just like with a door, another door that you encountered in this dungeon. You reach the point where you feel like you should have the t final tumbler click into place and the door opens. It, the tools like freeze into place and then an invisible force pushes them out of the keyhole and they clatter onto the floor. Oh, don't you know this check magic? Magic. Huh? What do the draconic words read once more? They read, rebuke the dead, open the way. What does rebuke mean, guys? Disapprove? Huh? Hmm. Disapprove the dead, open the way. Do we have to kill the undead that's here? It sounds like to deny, rebuke, to deny, to reject. Hmm. Reject the dead. I hope that that does not mean do not kill. <laughs> uh, 
We're too stupid. Axel, <laughs> investigate this. Never mind, I do it. <laughs> I am investigating this fountain. Yes, sir. Roll a perception check for me, please. Oh, actually, with advantage. With advantage. So roll uh, a second time, uh, take the higher one. There you go. 17. Uh, yes, sir. The other two w would never recognize it. To them, it would just be rough bumps along the side of, side of this stone uh, uh, fountain, right? But because you can read Draconic, you see that it's mostly worn away, but still just barely legible Draconic writing on the fountain, the side of the fountain. Ooh. And it reads, Let there be fire. Stand back. <laughs> what, what did you find? The Draconic says, Stand let there behind. be fire. Stand behind behind me, Caxel. I'll protect you. Thank you. Uh, I do not remember or know why I can read the Draconic language, but it says, let there be fire. Mm, perhaps you should go behind the corner of a wall. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to use my flamethrower and spin in a 360, alighting this entire room with fire. <laughs> with my flamethrower. All right, I'm doing it. Uh, bur burning hands, right? Burning hands. There you go. But it's not coming out of your hands, right? I think you, you changed it around a little bit. One of my hands is a flamethrower. Oh, okay, okay. What comes out of your mouth then? I don't remember. I guess nothing, right? Never mind. Never mind. Okay. The flamethrower is in your hands. Got it. I'm spinning around. I'm going to launch. Fill this room with like a spiral tornado of fire. <laughs> Got it. You go. Yes. The mouth of the of the dragon. Right? Mm-hmm. It ignites. Like, like it was shooting out an invisible, flammable gas that nobody could tell. And, it, and it's shooting out. It doesn't deal damage to you because it's shooting it out onto the roof. You notice at the bottom of the dry fountain, there is a silvery red liquid that is starting to fill just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then the flame shooting out of the dragon's mouth stops. And then it stops filling up. And there's now a silvery red liquid at the bottom of the fountain. Just a little bit. Are we safe to go back in? Trans, enter. Okay. He called me his friend. Behold, the fountain. Huh? The flames had ignited near the mouth of the dragon statue. Mm -hmm. And from the bottom of a fountain. Do you see what I see? Is that blood? I what do not know. That? Caxel. Huh? Do you want me to check it? Is this something you're familiar with? Give me a, whoever wants to check to see if it's blood, give me a medicine check. I have no modifiers of wisdom, so I can't do it. I have no modifiers to. What are your modifiers, uh, <clears throat> Des, for wisdom? Wisdom. What are you asking? 15. Uh, is it? He's 15. Okay. So modifier two, I believe. Yeah, you should probably check it out then. All right. What is this substance? Oh. 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 I've rolled a 21. You've rolled a 21 on your medicine check. That's a wisdom save, not a medicine check. But it should... Is it the same thing? Let me check. Hold on, let me check. Oh, medicine check. Uh, do you, you do have wisdom. So it's a 19, not a 21. I'll, I'll count it mm -hmm. this time. It's fine. <clears throat> It is not blood. You don't know what it is, but with a 19 medicine check, you can tell that it's some sort of potion, but you don't know what it is. Ooh. Are we able Elixir. to collect? Are we able to collect this substance? Does anybody have anything that, can, that you can collect a liquid with? We can drink the antitoxin and then just put it in there. Ah. Okay, I'll do that. Give me the antitoxin. I'll drink it, and then we can put it in that. Okay. For those of you that are just tuning in, at 
Oakhurst, they purchased... Actually, they didn't purchase. They got a writ from Lady Carowin to gather any gear that they thought that would help them in this in this rescue mission at the local mercantile. And they, they chose to get two antitoxins. Yeah, I'll allow you to glug mm -hmm. it. Okay, so I'll just put like mysterious red liquid in my in my inventory. Yeah, it's it's just like potion question mark. Gluck, 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 Three gluck. question marks. There you go. Okay, got it. Cool. But that still that still didn't open the door. Hmm. Mm, this is a long true. hallway. Maybe we should just venture deep down. Can we probably check for traps before we go? That is true. It's fine. There's so many doors over here. This section this of place? hallway contains six doors, all slightly ajar. The area smells foul. Ugh. Ugh. Axel, peer, uh, peer behind those ajar doors. Sneak around uh, with your light, here? light body. Ah, give me a stealth okay. roll, please. Stealth roll, yep. Stealth roll. Where is it? Uh, stealth. Here it is. Mmm, a 22. Wow. Okay. Go ahead and move, but make sure to move, like, one, one tile, move three seconds, and then move another tile. Okay. Hmm, there's nothing in here, guys. Check nothing. all the doors. Okay. We're right behind you, don't worry. Uh, from what I can tell, in these rooms, there are two rats in each- one rat in each room, left and right of me. They have not noticed you yet. Sneak past. Check the others. Altor, okay. unfortunately, you did not roll a stealth ah. check. Everybody stop moving. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Roll for oh, initiative, no. boys. It's oh, okay. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> well, it's okay. We'll take on one. Oh, one... Tor, you fool! I am we a turtle, take... not a fool. We can take. Uh... Kiryo bot rolls a sixteen. I roll a seventeen. Good night. Uh, I roll a twenty-one. Holy <laughs> mo! Holy moly! These rats are fast. Okay. Got 20 on one of them, jeez. Okay, everybody's rolled. Good. Combat start. Giant rat goes first. It attacks you, Altor. Okay. 19 versus AC. Uh, that equals it. Yeah, it hits. Is it just? Only just? Just hits. Yeah, just hits. So you have 19 AC and it rolled a 19? Yep. Mm -hmm. I have a house rule where if it's like... Like dead even, you don't get to add strength or dex to it. It's, it's just okay, a, cool. it's just the dice itself. That applies to you guys only just hitting as well. It's like uh -huh. the equivalent of a glancing blow. Okay, cool. Three damage. All right. Castle, <gasps> your turn. Okay, I'm gonna go into this room and fight this guy. Actually, I can attack him from here. Can I still? You can. Where yeah. I'm at? Yeah. Okay, I'll just do that. Um. You cannot sneak attack as, however. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I'll kill him! I'll kill you! Clean hit. 13. Deal your damage. Ora! You deal a mortal a mortal wound to that rat, but it's still alive. Ooh. What? This guy's tanky. You All like tour. 7 HP. Your turn. All right. I'm going to attack the one in the room to the right of me. Got it. So, he's still around the corner, but I'm going to, like, use the door as, like, a little, like, uh... Lever, I guess, lever, I guess what it is. I just whack it. Oh, like a button hook maneuver. maneuver. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't, I'm not going to give you advantage, but like, yeah, that's a cool, cool maneuver. Okay, that's a like one-handed attack. Got it. 14. That's a clean hit. Do okay. your full damage. Nine damage. Oh. You one-shot it. It's dead. Split! <laughs> a bit tanky, huh, these guys? Curio bot, your turn. I'm going to Eldritch Blast. This one. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Altor, I recommend you look the other direction. <laughs> okay, because cool guys oh. don't look at explosions. <laughs> oh, once again. <laughs> yeah. Do your damage. I, I've rolled a 21. 
Oh my gosh. Holy shit. <laughs> He's dead. So Why is destroying <laughs> these guys? 13 damage. <laughs> I've absorbed its soul as well. <laughs> it's dead. Yeah. Uh, one thing I would like to note is that you did not use Hex. So the effect of oh, Hex Oh, that's actually right. Ends. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's only one rat left. It's going to re it's going to attempt to bite your ankle, Katzel. Yep. Ah. Thirteen versus AC. AC is fifteen. Fifteen is a miss. Nice. Nice. Uh. Katzel, your turn. All right, time to finish you off, buddy. I'm gonna sneak attack. Can I sneak attack this guy or no? Uh, unfortunately, no. You don't have a. Okay, can I just normal? Yeah. Clean hit. <laughs> Axel roll a 19. Orak! He's dead. For 10 damage. Does Combat violence... Order. Is violence the only route once battle yes. starts? Yes. These are rats, my friend. These are rats. Of course. <laughs> Reject the undead. Didn't we kill them? I think... Ah, stop sure. right there. Ah! Yeah, right there. Give ah! Me Boys, I think I stepped on a trap. Uh oh. Oh, actually, hold on a second. Oh wait, uh, one step back. Apologies. You should oh, be able okay. to see that. That was a mistake. Hold on. Let me read this for a second. This music's nice. Yeah. I like it. Hmm. True has the vial of that mysterious liquid. The I do. Altair, or Altor. <laughs> we should probably figure out what that is. Well, uh, I don't think many of us are very good at magic, so, uh, and potion making. Thoughts about consuming the potion? Uh, d d d d maybe we should check out that last fountain first. Maybe it's another potion mm. that we can mix together or something. Okay, ah. yeah. It's a mistake on, on, yeah, don't worry about it. That's my bad. I'm going to go ahead and make it. Hold on. Player map. If only we had an alchemist, I could figure out. Okay. Let me describe the room. You should have been able to see that. I'm sorry. Made a mistake there. Okay. No problem. Okay. <clears throat> the cobblestone floor in the room before you contains two trap doors that are blocked open by iron spikes. The northern wall holds a dry fountain carved with an overarching, overarching diving dragon. A faint, rotten stench pervades the room. So, these are these are pit traps, but they're they're wedged open by iron spikes. How do we? We can't really disarm those, can we? They've already been disarmed. Oh, okay. They're open, and then you can look down into it, and it drops. 20 feet, 20 feet deep and then yeah. yeah yeah what up do you believe you have the athleticism to jump over this pit oh i think it's doable yeah what are the chances of you being unable to jump this pit and being skewered we'll check it out how's that can i just throw him you could throw him wait but the dragon dried statue, maybe that's got to do with fire as well, right? Can you blast? Does my flamethrower reach the dragon statue? Two issues. One is that no, your flamethrower has a reach of 15 feet mm. maximum, so about that far. Three squares in a cone, right? The second issue is that you've used up both of your spell slots and you can no longer cast uh. spells until you take a short rest. Well, we kind of need your spells. I think, mm. I think it is too risky for you to jump over this. There's no reason for us to risk that. Perhaps we can take a rest. Sure. Next that is dead true. rat bodies. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good idea. Let's do it. All right. I dibs this room because there's no rats in here. <laughs> this is room number one. Torrentary or Altor, you can get room number four, the cursed room. The cursed room. The cursed can you just room. Sit out here so we can see what's coming at us. 
Oh, but Kyrie Bot doesn't need to sleep because he's a bot. I'll stand watch. I'll enter. Let's sleep. We sleep in this match. Oh, <laughs> rest, do you, do you, do you want to take a short rest or a long rest? I have 11 what? HP and I would like more HP. <laughs> okay, let's, we can take a long rest. Let's take a long rest. A uh, short rest, if you have hit dice, will allow you to recover HP without having to take a long rest. If it's just okay, HP. And sh short rest can give back spell slots for um for Curio Bot, right? Yes, yeah, as a warlock. Okay. Your, your call, though. If you want to take a long rest, you can take a long rest. But if you have hit dice left over, which I think you still have mm. two, right? Yep, I still have two. Yeah, if it's just HP that you're missing. Yeah. Let us Let's do, do it. a short rest. Let's okay, do a short rest. You will take okay, a short one rest. hour <laughs> short rest. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're good. You will take a you take a short rest, which means. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Does anybody else need to regain HP? No nope. max HP. Serial bot is unscathed. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Uh... I'm back to 18 HP. I used both of my hit dice. Rogue doesn't gain anything from short rest, but you don't gain anything from long rest either, other than hit dice and HP. So I think we're good. One hour passes uneventfully. You do not get, uh, you do not stumble upon, upon like an ambush or a patrol or anything like that. Um, you sit and then you eat a snack and then you bandage your wounds and you are ready to go now. One hour okay. has passed. Oh, let me, let me well, put some music. How do you want to do this now, huh? I could potentially throw Curiobot over. Wait, how much does Curiobot weigh? Steel and wood. Ooh. Quite heavy. I, I am also I mean... eight foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe what we could do is we can make a human bridge. Me and you, and then Caxel just walks across us. Oh, that's kind of no, smart. I don't think that will work. Hmm. Eight foot. You guys just want to throw me over then? You could you could attempt to just like jump across. Wait. That's a deck saving throw to attempt to make a jump. What is across. a person's what is an arm span? The the height of the person? Uh <laughs> Mm, your your wingspan, I guess, both of your arms is, is typically about your height, right? Maybe a little bit, little bit longer than your height. If I raise my arms up, if you raise your, you're eight feet tall, and if you raise your arms up, would it add another two feet to it? At least two feet. Wait, let me check your model. Hold on a second. Let's let's uh. Let, you want to take? Is it okay if we take a poll? I kind of want to. Mm-hmm. Sure. Oh my god, look at his arms. That's way longer than two feet. Oh my feet. gosh. <laughs> Holy shit. I want to do a pull. I just want to do a pull. That's a whole bridge by himself. I've employed <laughs> this technique prior with the first trap we encountered. Curio bot true. does the wave. Is he greater than 10 feet tall? <laughs> yes, no. Well, yes. if we put it like, yes. hmm, I would say each Nar. of his arms is probably around like maybe six feet tall. Asking my community. So. Just a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's do That's like a wave. minute. We could uh, we could take a sip. Does anybody need to use the restroom or anything like that? How are you guys doing? How are you guys feeling? We've been at it for over two hours and I'm like having a blast. Mm. Oh, I yeah, go I'm, for I'm it. around an hour. Maybe. Yeah. <sighs> An hour more. Whew, yeah, I feel like uh, we no. got about we got about like 30, 40 minutes, and then I'll call it a little bit short of seven o'clock. I think I want it to go about seven hours, but oh my okay, God, it's so fun. Seven hours, it's good. Seven I'm not, hours. not seven hours. Three hours. Three hours. <laughs> seven hours. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, best we think. I'm, a, like, I'm a little tired. No, 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 no. I think I think it's like very clear that like it's ninety three percent is yes, yes, and only seven percent are like nah. Okay, I think okay. I think we can end it. It's like, no, we're not playing seven hours, besties. Right. Dang, Wait, so this is like episode one, though, right? Because I don't think it's going to be able to end in. Yeah, minutes. this this dungeon so, should take two, two to three sessions to clear. Maybe four if you're trying to like scour okay. the entire thing, which you shouldn't because like that doesn't make sense. Like in character, you don't like scour the entire dungeon, right? Like there's an objective, mm. and yeah, but like if you're trying to like full clear it, like four or five sessions, but. Okay. Well, we are trying to find people, so we should check every room, shouldn't we? Mm, yeah. True, true. But imagine if, like, you find them, right? 
would you go back and clear every room just in case after you found them? Oh, you just no, like no, leave no. Yeah, nah, nah. okay. So it looks like by by clear popular decision, Curio Bot, when he does the wave, fingertip <laughs> to toe tip is is over ten feet tall. So okay, so well, use your you use your light, small, supple body and climb across <laughs> Supple. Okay. Supple. Um, why do you Light. sound so? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna Boom. hop on him and. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you managed to cross into I the room. Cross over. Yeah. yeah. I'll be over here. <laughs> okay. He weighs 450 pounds. Do you want him to like yeah. try to climb across you? No, 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 no. About... He's, no he's stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm coming over. Watch out. Oh no. Can I throw like a rope over there or something? Or... Oh yeah, you do have fifty feet of rope in your in your dungeoneer's pack. Okay. But how uh, is he gonna rope across a ten foot? <laughs> Curio bot, you I know... will I will allow you to take one leg and then carry it over to the other side of it and then do it with the same with the other leg, right? Something like this. Like your legs are like this, and then one leg could be like that, and then the other leg could oh, be like that. Oh, and then you just true. shimmy you over, and then you're you're across. Mm -hmm. Because I think we need you to read the dragonic stuff if it's like on here. I there you go. Because right. so. that right. just makes sense in my mind. Like I would do that mm. if I was like yeah. stretched across and then my leg. Yeah. I would like to scan the room for any draconic. Ah. Okay. Um, Alto, give me please wait for us. A perception uh, check. I'm nervous over here. I'm all alone. <laughs> a perception check, please. Not a wisdom saving throw. A perception check. There you go. A sixteen. Curio nice. bot rolls a 16 to his perception check. There is another mostly worn away inscription in Draconic on the front of the fountain basin. It reads, Let there be death. It says, ah. Let there be death, Caxel. All right, everybody. Don't kill me. What the fuck? You're going to kill me? Hold on, hold on. Everybody, don't move. Um, Let's see. Anyone who speaks this phrase aloud in Draconic triggers. Oh, you didn't speak it in Draconic. Never mind. Damn it. <sighs> I made a mistake as a DM. Damn it. <laughs> Do not say that in Draconic. <laughs> Don't say it in Draconic. I made a mistake. Oh, I'm a bad DM. Damn it. I got so excited. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It happens. Oh. No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm a stickler for the rules. Okay. I mean, um, we could. We could still say it. Just pretend that you didn't hear that and then nothing happens. Go ahead and go ahead and because you said that in, in common, right? I'm sure you did, because the other two mm -hmm. wouldn't understand what you're saying. Yeah. I wish to investigate this fountain as well. <laughs> uh you did investigate the fountain, right? You were looking Oh, okay, for okay. Yeah. Oh, I guess you want to investigate the fountain itself, right? Yeah, give me an investigation yeah. check. Yeah. This is fun. Axel, <laughs> perhaps you it's should really investigate fun. this fountain. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna investigate it? Okay, uh, oh, oh yeah, okay, I see. Uh, okay, I'll investigate the fountain then. Yeah. Perception? Yeah, perception check, please. You guys having fun over there? A 14, um, a 14 to the perception check. Castle? Yep. Yeah. Do you remember how, like, the dragon in the other room, like, when it hit, when fire hit it, it started spouting out fire, which means there was probably like something that was spitting out like an invisible gas, right? Uh huh. Mm. You look at this one, and it also has like a tube in its mouth that was hidden until unless you're like looking directly into its mouth that you couldn't uh -huh. see before. Wait, what does that? Huh? <laughs> yeah? There's there's a, uh, a hidden tube in the dragon's mouth. Okay, there's a hidden tube in the dragon's mouth, guys. Uh, and it's like a, oh, it's wait. a metallic pipe, like a yeah. Oh, Alto, uh, give <clears> me <throat> the, give me the, give me the the. Yeah, next, yeah, can you throw it go. over? Can you throw it over? Uh, I don't want to throw this. Uh, can, can we just? It's like, okay. Can just reach. Okay. Uh, oh, across the corner. No, I just throw it. Yeah, I'll okay. catch it. I'll catch it. Okay, okay. <laughs> I take it out of my pack, <sighs> and I just like two-handed, underhanded throw it. You throw so, it. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Just give me an easy dex check to see whether you can. Do you want it. me to do sleight of hand instead? Oh, sleight of hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I would sleight of hand. Yeah. I'll it's the same as a dex hand. check, but you have you have uh yeah. There yeah. you go. Uh, I got sixteen. You, you snatch it out of the air handily. Nice. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. 
It's okay, you're a pretty good thrower. Not gonna lie. Alright, I'm gonna chuck that. I'm gonna pour that into the little pipe thingy. Oh, <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, uh, just do it. <laughs> you pour it, it you pour it into the pipe, and then a tense five seconds pass. <gasps> Ten seconds. Thirty seconds. I Nothing happens. <laughs> uh, Stand back, Taxel. Yes. In fact, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to lay myself across once more. Climb over okay. to the other side. Okay. I'm going to go fill that bottle up. You guys just do your thing. I'm going to fill I the bottle up. Oh, my... it, it's, it's done. Like, there's no more left at the bottom. Oh, the no! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, no! I'm going to transform my arm into my flamethrower. Uh-huh. I'm going to put the spout of my flamethrower onto the spout that is protruding out, and I'm going to launch my flames into it. You're going to use a spell slot to use burning hands, and you're going to... Throw it into the pipe. Yes. Okay. Okay, do it. Wait. What did the Draconic say? It said, let there be death in Draconic. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, because remember? The fountain before said reject death, right? Or something. Reject the undead. Mm. Maybe it's got to do something with that. Wait. I Yo. What, what is what is here? Can I can I discern what what's going on? It's a door. Am I, it's a door. Yeah. And there uh, is this Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Um give me Wait, wait, wait. Caxo, you have wasted our elixir or what could have been If I throw a very across clearly a rat. something important. You're a fucking robot. You can't drink shit, man. <laughs> It's lost in the tube. How about... Uh, blood. What if we get one of these well, rats' bloods and just pour the blood down the... Well, I don't have tube. any reason ah, to believe that this fountain is different from the other ones. Perhaps I should just sp spray my fire once more. Give me okay. a perception check. Curiobot. Okay. Rot raggy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a I've rolled a three. A roll critical three. fail. This trap. <laughs> you don't. You don't detect anything special with this trap or this door. Like you're unable to ascertain anything until you get closer to the door, and you don't see how you can get there. And and the door is closed, so it's like right what over is... a trap. Let me it, toss over it, a rat. Is is the wall flush on on this side? Right here, this the furthest side. Oh, is it flush? Oh, you you hit upon it. You rolled a three, but as a, as like a player, you hit upon it. I'm just gonna give it to you, okay? Um, it's actually not flush because you know what you're looking for. I'll just auto pass you. It's actually you've actually got a one foot like ledge, and it's very very narrow, and it's very dark here. But you can actually like like your feet. If you if you're like back to the wall and like you're shimmying across this way, your toes will hang over the pit, but you'll be able to get to the door. Ooh. Caxel. Another job for Caxel. <laughs> Return to me. Uh, <laughs> so, like what do I do next? You're going to huh? crawl over my body and investigate this door. Okay, fine. I'll be over yeah, here. Gonna, Good luck, guys. I'm gonna investigate this door. Okay. Uh, perception, was it? Yes. Give me a perception check. An 18. 18. That's kind of spicy. You hear noises on the other side of that door. Right oh. on the other side oh. of that door. Well, okay. So there's noises coming from this door. What but I think we're going to go through are, it. Are you, what kind of noises are you able to discern? There's movement. Oh. But you can't discern what type of movement. But I something. don't know. It was like rustling. I, and... We should... We should... We should get Al Tor on should this side. Should we call out? Yes, there is a trap. If they, if it was, it was, return, return, return to the middle of the room. Oh, so if we call out, they're gonna fall into the trap. Is that what you want to say? Uh, but if it, if it is the people we're looking for, we were just inviting them, baiting them into their death. Shit. So we're the goblins after all. Do goblins know common? 
Mm. Can I do like a history check on that? Do goblins know common speech? Yeah. Give me a history check. Yeah. History? Uh oh. I'm bad with history. 19. No. Oh, oh my God. a nat 20. No, the common goblin does not know. Like a goblin, Ooh. like grunt, like a goblin soldier, like the low level goblin will, would not know common. However, like goblin leaders have been known to learn the speech because they need to trade the things that they steal and such. So mm -hmm. it's not uncommon for like the leader of a goblin group to know common, uh -huh. but the foot soldiers would not know it. What about kobolds? What is a kobold? Are they sentient? Anybody want to do another history check? Well, they are sentient, for sure. I can answer that one. How intelligent is a kobold? I'm going to... Roughly equal to a goblin. Oh, uh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they can feel. They can fall All in right. love. I thought we were... They can have their hearts the... broken. <laughs> I thought we were killing the equivalents of, like, dog-level creatures. <laughs> <laughs> hey, even dogs can find love. Hello. Honestly, shit. Yeah, the the first kobold you like did not blew realize, up and did not realize that kobolds were that intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Poor kobold. And we murdered them all. <laughs> we just like. We literally one-shotted our way here, dude. We just as, as the words leave Kiriobot's mouth, Axel is is like five foot, peers <laughs> up at the blood stains across the the, the chassis of Kiriobot. <laughs> huh. Really, you had to do that? <laughs> okay, Kaxo, I think. Why don't you shout from across across the walls? Who's oh, there? Okay. Is somebody okay. there? Okay. Climb upon me once more. All right. Hey, is, uh, is anyone over there? Hello? Be prepared to run. So ah! without, without needing another perception check, you heard that like rustling, the sound of movement. And then when you shout, when you yell, not shout, but when you say that out loud, it stops. <gasps> and then you guys back off, right? Nothing. Hmm. Nothing happens. What? I don't think those guys are human. Well, uh... Shit. Axel, How stand back. Get... <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait, how about... You use your... What do you call it? Your... My Eldritch Blast? Yes, and just blast through the door. Okay, stand back. I'm going to blast this door. Yes. <laughs> You're fucking like super long range AOE and just blast <laughs> shit out of this thing. Oh Roll your gosh. damage. Roll your damage. I've rolled Whoa, a 25. Seven damage. The rotting door explodes. <laughs> and it's bursted open. Do not move from where you guys are standing. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do not move from where you guys are standing. Um, oh, rats. There are a ton, like a lot of rats. And one of them is bigger and meaner and scarier than the rest. Oh no. They're they, not worried. They oh. cannot traverse this trap. In a single bound. <laughs> they <laughs> leap across. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You're your fuck shit. This is... Just a second. Yo, yeah, my. <laughs> Yo, <Yeah>, my. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what? Hold on a second. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, I double no. rolled. Hold on. Let me clear everything. Hold on. <laughs> <clears throat> I keep forgetting I need to have the turn order open before I roll, and I make that mistake every time. Okay. Add turn. There we go. Roll for initiative. It's the final, com it's the final combat of the night. Oh. What, is the intel what is the intelligence of a rat? Oh, that's Altor, I don't mind you taking damage. I think we might need you over on this side well, to fight I, these guys. I mind me taking damage. Oh, wait. You can throw your weapons from that range to deal damage. I, I could. Think. I have two weapons. How many weapons? Throw. I have two. <laughs> wait, do you, don't you have a bow? Heck no. Oh, no. I'm a paladin, oh, bro. 
Shit. Okay, so I need to roll I was initiative, right? Woo! Okay, not bad, not bad. 15. Not bad. 17, 13, and 15. Just a second. Oh. Yeah, oh. God. Uh oh. 20 and 11. Yes, sir. Here we go. Here we go. Starting combat. Of tour. Yeah. How far do you think you can jump? As far as I can. I, and when, when I get to, I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump. I'm going to do it. Hold on. Do you realistically think you can jump 10 feet? I, five feet is fine, right? I can just move like that. Anyways. I can go diagonally. With rat-like speed, it the giant rat leaps over the 10-foot pit trap in a single bound. And mid-leap, it tries to sink its teeth into Curiobot. Come get some! <laughs> Five versus AC. <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> the giant bloated rat leaps over. Uh-oh. Probably like here. Yeah. Ah, oh, ah, no. Ah. Tu tambien, la reta. This rat has advantage on an attack roll against a creature if at least one of its rat's allies is within five feet of the creature, and the ally is oh, no. not incapacitated. Oh, fuck. Come get some! So I'm going to roll twice and take the higher one. Oh, 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 wow! No. <laughs> well, that hits. <laughs> 24? Oh. Seven points of damage. Uh, you have you have your bubble, right? But I think I it'll, have five points of bubble. It'll pierce through. You should have six, I think. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. So you take one point of damage, but because you've secured that one point of damage, give me a Constitution saving throw, sir. <gasps> what does oh, no. this do? Constipation saving throw. <laughs> constitution. <laughs> constitution, oh. not oh. not constipation. Oh, okay. <laughs> You, what this you pass your saving throw. Okay. <laughs> Altor, your turn. Hey guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to jump, okay? Wait, wait. <laughs> How much do you weigh? 450 pounds. Ooh. Why don't you... <laughs> what weapons do you have on you? A war hammer and a mace. It's okay. I'll, I'll give it a try. No, I'm com hold on. Allow me to compute. Ding. Thirty-three point three three. Repeating, of course. Chance of falling into the pit and dying. <laughs> I didn't take javelins. I'm sorry, guys. I believe you should throw your mace into the back of this rat's head. Uh, <laughs> uh, Straightforward. Dead on. Dead on. Dead ass? Go for it. Uh, we okay. Dead ass! At the risk of you falling and being impaled by the spikes is too great. Oh, there's no spikes My on the bottom on this one. It's the other one. Oh. This one's just a Jump pit trap. Tour. Jump I'm jumping! <laughs> Give me a dexterity saving throw. Okay, I Okay, yeah. <clears throat> dexterity saving throw. <laughs> That's a three, my friend. You fall 20 feet into the pit. <laughs> Oh, do a flip. You take seven points of damage, and there are two rats in the pit. Oh, why are there two rats in the pit? I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm gonna move. Yeah, I'm gonna move them. Not you. They join the fray. So. Super oh my man. goodness, this is bad. This is so bad. We just might die here. Shit. <laughs> One moment. This is super bad. Oh no. 
Double five. Um, these two will not take action until next turn. Mm. Okay. Okay. I mean, they're like, what the fuck? I'm gonna add that. Remind. Uh, well, I'm, I shouldn't ask you to remind me, but I will add them to the turn order, and then they will they will begin combat next round. Okay. Okay. Catzel, well, your turn. Okay, we gotta try deep off the big guy. Okay. So I don't think we should focus him. I think we should focus a small one first. I'm gonna sneak attack the small guy here. Yes, you can sneak attack it. All right. Eleven. That misses. <laughs> Not in a critical moment like this. Curio oh, Bond. No. Does he get opportunity strike? Oh, uh, no, 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 he's not behind yeah, he's not, he's So not I have my, my Eldritch Invocation. I have a Repelling Blast, correct? You do, you do. Ooh. How far does that blast enemies? 10 feet opposite the direction where you your blast came from. I'm going to blast, use my Repelling Blast on this rat. Got it. What does that do? Uh, what's this repel blasting? It's gonna push it ten feet. Yeah. Oh my goodness! You're gonna drop it in the. Do I? Which one do? What do I do? Uh, it, it automatically takes effect once you land your hit. So just do eldritch blast. Although if you want to, you can hex your call. You have the. Uh, you have one more spell slot left, so you can either hex or you can do like other stuff. I'm going to. Hmm. Or you can knock the big guy into the same pit as Altor. <laughs> you could. You could. He will die. No, no, I will, I will Eldritch Blast that rat. <laughs> Clean nice. hits. Roll your damage. Six damage. It's dead. But you knock its corpse into the pit. Clean kill. <laughs> oh, this is bad. I can... I can... I can move. You can right? move. However, if you move away from Gut Hash, the giant bloated rat, um, you'll you'll take an opportunity attack. Oh, I you should. killed it! You you gain your 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 little bubble, right? Oh. How many points? Six. Six temporary HP. Every time you land a killing blow. All right. Altor. Yeah! What, what's up? Got my hands full a little bit here! Can I, can I move here without being yes, struck? Yes, you can. You can, yeah. I can peer down and see Altor being cornered by these rats. Yes, you can. I'm not uh, stuck in there with them! They're stuck in here with me! <laughs> Alright. Can, can I hex still? You can, as a bonus action. Yeah. I'm going to hex the big chunky rat. The chonker? Okay. Got it. Hexed. And that ends your turn. You've moved, you've attacked, and then you've used your bonus. Yeah. Got it. Okay. This rat, with rat-like dexterity, leaps across the pit. Slides one square, and then while it's sliding, tries to bite the ankle of Quetzal. Not the ankle! What kind Eight. of... <laughs> Metal Gear Solid rat is this? <laughs> the final rat. Okay, leaps across. I got 15 armor class, so it won't damage me. And we'll try to bite. Catzel. Not the ankles! Ah! Six points of damage. Oh my goodness. That's maximum damage. So I have 13 hit points now. This red is dead. Oh. It is now Gut Hash's turn. Oh gut no, not the Gut Hash. Gut the hash. giant bloated rat will attack. Yeah, plus five. Yeah. It'll try to attack uh, Curio Bot. 16 versus AC. 14. 14. Clean hit. Seven. Oh, yeah. Are you down? Okay. Well, you have your temp HP, remember? All right, oh, I'm at true. 15 hit points. 15 hit points? Give me a constitution saving throw, please. Oh, you save once nice. again, you lucky son of a gun. <laughs> Actually, wait a second, wait a second. Can you, can, you check your, can you check your character? Do you have resistance against poison? He does. 
damn it! You, okay. have, you have advantage on <laughs> you have advantage on saving throws against being poisoned. You have resistance to poison. Ah, ah, ah. So you should be you should be rolling that twice and taking the higher number. Shh. I played myself. Okay, Altor, your turn. Okay. <clears throat> You've got to kill one of these guys in there, Althor. Oh, I'm going to kill them both. Don't worry. Maybe not this oh, turn, but one shit. of them at least this turn. I have my shield in one hand, Warhammer in the other hand, and I whack the cl the rat on the right side. On the got right it. side. Got it. Mm -hmm. Miss. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, uh, uh, down here, guys. <laughs> all right, that's, that's really all I can do, so... Castle, your turn. Big moves, okay. big moves. Okay, big moves. Uh, I don't know what moves I exactly have other than attack, but uh, I, I, I guess I'll be attacking this guy right in front of me. And you can sneak attack. Yep, I'm sneak attacking it. Please. Miss. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Two useless. Two. Useless. <laughs> Why? Flashbacks. Must what I do it all? Fuck? You used all your luck before! Shit! Curiobot, oh, no. your turn. I'm going to hex Eldritch Blast the big Chungi. Alright, get in there. Clean Ooh. hit. Deal your damage. Please don't kill in one hit. Bah! Kill in one hit. It's yes. freaking dead in one hit! Let's oh, go! Oh, hey, let's go! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is the big boss, right? It's gonna scare the other guys off, isn't it? If we kill him. I scan the room, looking to the eyes of the small rats. <laughs> Behold what has happened to your master. <laughs> the same holds true for your fates. Gain your Let's bubble. Go. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> Let's ah. go! Karyobot saving Thank the you day! Thank you dude. Karyobot. <laughs> The giant rat will attack Curiobot because it, it killed the matron of its clan. Die. Oh, what? Uh, uh, That's uh, a uh, critical uh, fail. Uh, 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 uh. The other one will also attack Curiobot, the one that's wedged in between Katzel and Curiobot. Oh, no. Uh. Uh, the GM is molding, molding hard. Foolish rats. Okay. <laughs> two critical fails in a row. Holy crap. <laughs> the two rats in the pit will now deal their attacks onto onto Altor because they can't climb out of the pit. So it's two in a row. Okay. Oh. You gotta beat a 19 AC. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Nope. Oh, it's like lagging. I don't know why roll 20 is lagging. I think you can yeah, tell that I was like molding. Yeah. <laughs> a double one? Come on, man. An eight! An eight. <laughs> None of those hit. None of those hit. <laughs> How the turntables. Ah, 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 you tiny little rats. Only the big rat over there that's probably dead. All <clears throat> tore your turn. Based on what I've heard. Oh my god. <sighs> take my. I'm going to take my Warhammer and try again on the right side again. Got it. Yeah. 16. Clean hit. Do your damage. 11 damage. One shot. It's dead. I don't miss two times in a row. <laughs> I look over there at the other rat. <laughs> Spit on the other rat. <laughs> it goes. <laughs> it's still very much aggressive towards you. Yeah. <laughs> I hiss back. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to move, right? Like you're going to stand uh, your ground? I can't move. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Katzel, your turn. Well, now I got to hit him, right? Come on. Come on, come on, you stop fucking moving, you little rat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Castle rolls an eight. Daxel, what use are you? I, I was killing everyone one shot till this point. Go for uh, the shins, Daxel, go for the shins. Oh, uh, uh, no. I turn my body, first my head whips it around <laughs> 90 degrees on an axis to look at the rat right in front of me. Then my torso spins. Oh. Then my two feet. Kung, 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 so that I'm shifting perspective. I look this rat and straighten the eye. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Actually, hold on. That's a crazy cantrip. Yeah. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. What the fuck? Taxel, shield yourself. <laughs> Curiobot has crit roll I've, uh, I've rolled a 26. Oh. <laughs> How is this fair? Yeah, you Ooh. obliterated in one hit. <laughs> <laughs> this rat. <laughs> obliterated. I almost feel like Caxo should take some damage right there. That was such a giant blast. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Oh, my brain. It's literally just watching. I turn to the other rat. Here we about killing every single being. The in remaining this room. rat sees the writing, the blood on the wall, and it'll attempt to take a running leap across. Back into the room that it came from. I reach out and grab it with my hand. Two, two opportunity attacks. Yeah. I want to grab it. You want to grab it? Okay. Can I grab it? <laughs> yeah. Oh do, my god. Do the same attack that you would do with with your mace, but yeah. Instead of dealing damage, you'll grab it by the leg. God damn it! You're gonna. Oh yeah, my Yeah, you grab goodness. it by the leg. <laughs> Holy shit! You're gonna pull like the Evangelion scene with. When he breaks right, the neck, with you know. The rat in my arm. Oh, it's not your I... turn though. <laughs> it's your opportunity to attack. You grabbed it and prevented okay, it from but going. But it's, it's in my hand. It's though, in your. Right? It's okay. your, You have it restrained in your hand. Yeah. Okay. The remaining rat in the pit against Altor. Wait, doesn't Axel get an opportunity? Oh, to attack too? you're right. Yeah. Hmm. All do right. You, finally, uh, you I get can it, do you, something. You have advantage as well because this rat is restrained. Okay. Sneak attack. Can I do as well? Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, sneak attack right. and then Hold roll, it. My hand. roll even, twice and take the higher one. And it's like even it's, it's, it's trying to, it's like struggling. I have it by the t <laughs> okay. There we go. It I lands. Can land Deal your cat. damage. Yeah, eighteen. Rack. <gasps> Sixteen damage is dead. I toss the corpse into the pit with a tour. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Altori, just roll a d20. Just like a straight saving throw. Okay. It's not going to deal any damage to you. I just want like a little bit of flavor. 11. Uh, okay, never mind. It lands where it lands. <laughs> what do you want to do to me? <laughs> I just wanted to land like hit you in the face, right? <laughs> but it's not going to deal damage. It's just like disgusting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just disgusting. Just annoyance. Yeah. <laughs> one more, one more down in the rat, down in the pit. Nine yep. versus AC. It misses. <laughs> all tour, your you turn. Little rats, you're all alone now. All of your friends are dead. Um. <laughs> I put aside my shield and raise my warhammer again, two handed over my head, ready to make a nice rat sized stamp. I hit. <laughs> Dunk that bitch! Bonk it. 24. Clean oh. hit. Clean hit. Oh. 24. For That's 13 a slam dunk. Damage. 13 damage, you kill it. That's a slam dunk. <laughs> The blood just goes all over the all four walls of this tiny, tiny <laughs> hole. Blood f flings into my face. Yeah, <laughs> the entire floor of that pit trap is slick with blood. <laughs> and I take one step forward, and I slip and fall on my butt. <laughs> <laughs> End combat. Good stuff, good stuff, everybody. You survived. I thought I might have you. Oh. <laughs> Poison. <laughs> Poison. I'm still down here though. Can you guys like, but drop a rope? Caxo. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I give my whip and spear to you because of your performance. I consider you the weakest. Shut up! Climb up. I think you you require Shut more up. items. Climb up. Hurry up, Althor. Okay, climb up. Get your ass up here. You yeah, can... I'm dropping your rope. Yeah, you... Get your ass up here. I might be strong, but 450 pounds is still a lot. <laughs> Woo. Uh. Woo. I think we're going to call it there, everybody. Um, uh. If you guys are uh. willing to play another round, which I would love to DM for you guys, the first thing you have to do is get over into that room. Don't forget. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like, it'll. I'll, I'll remind you what, ha like, last time on Tempest D&D. &D, I'll, I'll recap everything, and then I'll mention, like, the, ne the last thing is for you guys to go into the room that the rats sprang out of, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Woo! Thank you for playing. Woo. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, <geez. laughs> That was that was super fun. <laughs> so are we oh, gonna do this weekly goodness. on Saturdays or what are we gonna do? I think pending our schedules, right? We'll just like verify mm -hmm. because you know, 
a lot of us are like super busy, right? But if all four yeah. of us are like not busy, I will do this like every week. Like no question. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> sure thing. Oh, that's fun. Uh, GG's everybody. GG's. Oh, oh my God. Geez. How do we survive that at the end? Karyo bot. Karyo bot just fucking massacred everyone. <laughs> I like the image of like when the two rats were in between us, yeah. Axel, and like yeah. they're like looking up, and I'm like I transform, you know, my body like opens up like a clam, and like it, it, it like it's like first, it's of, like first the... of all, first of all, I hex this rat, right? So there's like a <laughs> mystical like green thresh like aura that like comes out of me, right? And, and the rat's like <laughs> like it, it it goes mad, right? It's been hexed. Right, oh and then just like, eh, eh, oh, 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 like transforms into like a rail gun, and it just like <laughs> kill his friend, ah! just, like, blasting it across. Dude, the other rat is literally like Tony Chopper, just looking, looking up, like crying. Yeah. Tears. It's like, is he gonna do this to me? <laughs> this rat jumps across, and I like <laughs> snatch it out of the air. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you gonna, I thought you were gonna I thought you were gonna like snap his neck like just squeeze him and, to death. And the funniest thing is like the rat in the in the pit with Altair, like it doesn't see, right? But above a gleaming red light shines like <laughs> yeah. boom and it's like, <laughs> oh it's like what the hell is going the on up there? Washes down down there. <sighs> oh, you killed the big boss in like one shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the biggest boss, but definitely the first boss of the oh. of the of the night. I think that's like a you guys made it yeah. like pretty far into the dungeon, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, okay. I, I think you're on track to clear this entire thing in about three sessions. So like, good stuff. Okay, good stuff. Uh, that's so good. Unfortunately, you. You. you did not level up. I'm not that kind. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, but thank you very much for hosting, Vesper. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, my thank pleasure. You so much. I love I love playing with. I love playing D and D. I'm not happy that I get to play it again. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. So good. All right, we will yeah. we will give. All of the temper are like advanced notice, like when we can get another session going next mm -hmm. week, the week after, like whenever all four of us are free. And then uh, I'll schedule it'll probably be on my stream again. Uh, yeah, thank you, everybody. I hope you guys had fun. Oh, it was super fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's all right. So much fun. <laughs> all right. Good night, everybody. Take care. Good night. Thanks Good for night. watching. Good night, people. Thank you for watching. Thank bye you bye. for watching. Uh, uh. Ah, bye, -bye. bye, -bye.